Oh, hello everybody. How are you today? Good talk. <laughs> I am on the grind for mog tomes because I am that crazy enough to have a large list. But thankfully I cut it down to <laughs> to um just MGP cards. Unfortunately, for some reason, my smart brain decided, Hey, how about we go for 20 MGP Platinum cards? In case you don't know, that's 600 Mog Tomes. <laughs> Which is a lot. I mean, you should have seen the other parts of the list, though. I had to farm, like, over a thousand, so... That's at least like 400 I farmed for and burned through just to get stuff I don't have. Now, I would do some of the weekly challenges, but um, <laughs> it, I am free to play and some of it is level 80 content. Why can't they just give me Cutter's Cry? <laughs> What Pixel got? Uh, I'm not so lucky. But yeah, I think the reason why I'm here specifically is because I was going to do my main story quest line. But I kind of want to get stuff done. So, I feel like I should just check in with Limza because there's ocean fishing that gives you five tomes upon completion for each session. So, I usually have a timer set for it. Like, let's just say hour and so-so minutes. I usually do it to where it's like 10 minutes before it actually starts so I have time to get there in case I'm somewhere else. Which is most of the time. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I usually do with that. And in between ocean fishing runs, I usually do gold saucer or just like praetorium runs. Because gold saucer gate uh, things, yeah, which is which are mini games. They give you a ranging amount of mog tomes upon either failure or success. <laughs> so you'll always get like at least a minimum of one per minigame. But if you manage to succeed at some big ones like the slices right or any way the wind blows, you I think you get like seven or eight. We managed to successfully complete that. I I've been at this for too long. <laughs> to be honest, I, I I just sometimes I feel like bashing my head on a wall because of how many terrible leap of faith sad to get through all of which are forest by the way for some reason for some reason that is that stupid sabotender just can't give us mostly anything else like is it that hard to like i don't know give us temple or 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 like you know the floating islands one we're all tired of forest Hour and 15 minutes, okay. I will set a timer for an hour and five minutes. I think that's enough time to, uh... I'd say at least a Praetorium run. I... I just estimate like half an hour on that because... It, it's... Most of the time, 
in Praetorium is on cutscenes. The fights themselves don't take too long as long as you've got like a competent enough party, which is pretty much like most of the time for me. I've only ever had like a couple like rare instances where like something went awry. Like, I don't know, like the healer getting disconnected <laughs> in mid Gaius fight. Me and the tank were like the last two to, you know, to bite the dust. I'm surprised I lasted as long as I did, but I I just couldn't keep up with like the the party wide attacks because you know potions only do so much. But I genuinely try and put in a decent dent. But it's okay, we got we got our healer back like soon after and finished the run out. <laughs> yeah, I still need to do like daily stuff. Like uh make stuff and buy stuff that I can't exactly craft or don't feel like crafting. And then uh turning it in for seals. In ex uh, inexperience. I think so I gotta do that, but... Mm. How many parties? Only 22? Yikes. I, I think I'll... Try to queue up for these two. Maybe I should throw Cutter's Cry in as well. Just for good measure. <sighs> oh yeah, what's... Uh, what's on the leveling? Venture and need. Main scenario, level 50... <laughs> Of course they need healer, but, uh... My healer's not at level 50 yet. <laughs> Guildhouse needs a tank. I mean, I, I could do that. They don't really give mog tomes, though. I'm getting distracted by trying to level things, but... I need to... Not go for it. I still throw that in the mix. I don't care what I get as long as I get mock tomes. That's all I care about. <laughs> I know what to do in the meantime while I wait. I mean, I could go check in with Gold Saucer and see if there's uh, anything going on. Oh yeah, I need to do my mini cact pot. That is something I do need to accomplish. Ah, must be nice for those people to be able to access the market board. Was it this way? N no, it's this way. I, I am so used to going to on autopilot and going to the rogues guild <laughs> because of the amount of times I've had to go there. I think the rogues guild quest line is pretty cool. Alright, airship landing. <laughs> Dude, how many times am I going to gonna see this bot try to talk about 
a gill s scam. I wonder how many reports on them is gonna take before they finally get booted. I, I could just let it go, but I'm like, I, I just report it when I see it in chat. All right, let's go. Let's see, no gates are happening right at the moment. Mini Cactbot ticket. Yes. I can't believe in gambling. You know what? Let's go crazy. Let's go for an unknown. Wow. I wish I didn't. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I'll just take the 360 right there. No, I didn't see what I got. I, I just went into it. And lol. Uh, oh, it's... Uh, oh, it's the Darkhold. <laughs> Let's just do it in the middle of these crystals, shall we? Oh, lovely, an all-seeing eye. Uh. I should transpose so I can start getting some of my mana back. Thank you for taking care of that magic tech timer. Oh yeah, that's a thing in this dungeon. Oh, lovely. Ah, I drew mobs! No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. Panic. <laughs> Not you again. You, what is that sound?
How much time do we've got? Oh, get away from me. Ow. Okay, th this one? I, I don't know which one it is! <laughs> Help? Oh no, I think we're gonna wipe. I don't... Are we gonna die? What's happening? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, we're good. <laughs> I haven't been through here enough times. <laughs> All right, you jerk. Time to get your comeuppance. Enemies from where? Oh, that side. If I'm not mistaken, we got a. Yeah, we gotta start moving. Uh, crystal over there. Ow! Oh. I just got uh, uh, let's not run let's not jump into the AoE. <laughs> I don't need to get myself killed. Die. Uh, what's the loot? Yeah. Uh, oh, I I should use the transporter while I'm looking at the stuff. This is fine. to do some AOEs, but I'm just trying to chip down at least one target fast enough <laughs> so it's less strenuous. Because it do be like that sometimes.
does that look like? Eh. Reason why I'm going for these things, those things anyways, like my lots on those. Um, is the Dark Knight dead dead? Oh no. Okay. Oh wait, I'm also dead dead. <laughs> Oh no, the poor healer! <sighs> uh, it happens. Yeah, we just gotta shake it off, reset, move on. Okay, let's run all the way back. Wait for me! Wait for me! Thank you, Kofi Stream, but I I know uh Skaith isn't really worth all that much, but I like to use it to, like, finish things off very quickly if it's low enough. I think I'll use that. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I kill it so quick. An enemy appears. Ah, this fun time. Oh, fun. We're gonna get rocks thrown at us. Alright. I anticipated that boulder dash. Nice try. <laughs> okay, that actually kind of hurt. <laughs> Okay, I think I can get another round in before I gotta recast my thunder. Actually, I'll be dead before then. Woo! Shiny loot. Templar's chain coif. Alright, let's go for it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, this fun room. I love this room so much. These people scare me with their HP sometimes. Me, I just try to stay out of the way as a black mage. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and they escaped my room. Yeah, I'm far away enough from the crystals, that's good. To crush your enemies. Five. Let's go. Ten points. <laughs> oh, I remember you. You're the oh so fun guy. Ow. You jerk. Just okay. Where to next? <laughs> Ow. I got hit with that. I'm a dummy. Oh, fire starter. I love when I get fire starter. I'll keep him occupied. Hey, over here, bozo.
course they unleash their fury. Oh, ew, ah. Why'd you have to... I am keeping that, that thing on me as a just-in-case measure. Thank you, healer. <laughs> I'm having such a great time here. <laughs> this boss is annoying! Ooh. Yeah, take a scathe to the face, you jerk. Nice work. Yeah. Thank you, White Mage, for dealing with that. <laughs> uh, there we go. What are you two doing? Oh. You're back here. Okay. Got three tombstones from that run. It's not bad. It's a timer on it. I've got 37 minutes left till that boat. Or ship boat thing. I don't know. I think I only got like, what, two cackpot tickets done? Oh, it's just one off from 10,000. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick a random row. Well, that sucks. I could have gotten more. Oh, well. Today's just not my lucky day. Oh. I got a new card. Cool. A one star card. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of which, how much. How much, uh. F58,834. Oh, it I might as well get some higher quality cards so I can beat that stupid Garlean dude. I'll get two of these. Two of these. Three of those. Okay, I'll... I think I'll open up the Imperial ones first. Magitek Gunship. Magitek Vanguard. Yeah, see what's in the gold. Geralt. Batter on ten fingers. Who in the world is that? Sounds like a... Uh, goblin name, maybe, or... Oh, I can just trade that one in since it's an extra copy. Bart's Clouser. Brachiosaur. Okay. It only gives me 300, but oh well.
Seriously? Robert Manderville's only a three star? Huh. All oh, right, there's a Cloud Strife card! And Noctis as well. I'm not gonna tr Another one? Another Brachiosaur. No luck. go when's next event supposed to happen I might as well go to one of those gate attendants and see 148 mock tomes right now that's not bad but nowhere close to where I need to be Uh, 220. Oh, that's in three minutes. All right, I'll wait three minutes then. <laughs> what am I going to do in the meantime, though? How do I adjust my triad deck? I don't know where it's under. Is it key items? No. Oh yeah, it's my elite mark bill. I still gotta do. Definitely not in her collection. Where is it? No. I'm probably never gonna, like, ever survive this, but... Oh well! <laughs> Crafting log... Late scene log... 
ending fishing fish I think it's under here. Card list. Our decks. Uh -huh, huh, I found it. Finally. Probably gonna forget again though. Cards of five star rarity. And car per deck. Hey, hey can you do chill? Uh, I can't finish my deck building. Or at least I found it where. Please do not end me quickly, <laughs> sir. I want to survive long enough to get something for my troubles. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, now question is, which way is it gonna split? Good thing I moved! <laughs> Ooh. That's a move backwards thing. Okay, I have earned myself a thousand. Twenty-five minutes left. Yeah, up and stretch. Okay. <laughs> Hello there, Johnny. Welcome to the stream. It's stretch. Sorry, my my model's going crazy because I got up. Whew. All right, there we go. I don't stand up all the time like cider spider, so I do need to get up and stretch every now and then. Thank you. And well, yeah, I, I know, I think I already said welcome, but welcome again. <laughs> I'm going to be suffering today just for <laughs> hog tomes. My goal is to get like 600 before the event ends so I can Get 20 MGP Platinum cards. And I also have bonus objectives if I get to them, but... I don't know if I will get to them. <laughs> right now I, I, I have 151. And let's see. Oh, like half an hour till ocean fishing? Yeah, that do be a lot of tones. You should you should have seen my whole list, dude. <laughs> I I I pretty much wrote down like everything I wanted. And at one point 
the total tomes was over a thousand. <laughs> I cut that down to 600. So, so yeah, I've been, I've been going nuts at it for like this past several weeks. Uh, the platinum cards are what I'm going after right now because it's the last thing on my regular list. Mostly spending your tomes on maps. Yeah, fair enough. I, I'm one of the- I'm a newer player, so I, I didn't even have like half of the stuff that the um, Moogle Hunt offered, so yeah, I, I just went ham at it. <laughs> Although, uh, I am s sk skipping a couple things due to my friend's recommendation because they said that I'll, I'll just get it later in, in, like, you know, main story quest line, like, like, unlocking raids and dungeons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what the hunt is for, is to, you know, give people a chance to get stuff. <laughs> Uh, I pretty much got most of the mounts from the current hunt. I also did get the burb because it is absolutely adorable. <laughs> They also got a pixie apple basket for the day I finally get my own house or apartment in this game. Which is probably not gonna happen for a long time because I highly doubt that 279,000 gil is gonna get me anything. I'm capped at 300,000. <laughs> Unless for some reason I get insanely lucky, that ain't gonna happen. Unless I did... I also did get the music rolls because I do like collecting that stuff. I I, I think I should just say I'm I mostly got like mostly everything. <laughs> Including the Mamashiba scarf or however you pronounce it. I got it because I am. Um, it is a little bit cute and I liked it enough. Oh, lovely. Leap of Faith. 240. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. The 20 minutes? I mean, I could do a quick guild hest or something. Just for, like, I don't know, leveling stuff. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still trying to gain some confidence with tank and healer because I, I don't really play them <laughs> all that much. As you can tell, I'm, I'm very much a DPS main. <laughs> I enjoy black mage to pieces. Yeah, I did say I'm free trial. I, I can't exactly um, afford a subscription at the moment, but once I get like more reliable income, I, I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna get a subscription because I love this game enough and I play it every single day. They, uh, uh, you want to throw minions at me? <laughs> hey, it's okay. You can always save them for uh, when I do when I do uh, go no longer free to play. I do appreciate the gesture. <laughs> you know, I, I did mention that I am like s saving furniture for the day I get my own place, so. Just gotta save, save, save for now, I suppose. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, 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 I grabbed these two at the last second. These two chairs. And... I did get a pixie apple basket from the hunt. Uh, the Moogle hunt. Because it looked cute, and I think it would look great on a table. And I also got a triple triad bo board that I might include in, in my home at one point, because... I mean, wh why not? Who, who knows? I like card games. <laughs> my buddy Pixel doesn't like him so much, though. Uh, triple triad. Does he? he doesn't really like Lord of Verminion all that much, either. I like Lord of Verminion, though. Uh, now that you mentioned minions, how many do I have? That's my favorites page. Uh, I have a sizable collection. Respectable enough. You're usually not a fan of real-time strategy like games. That's honestly, it's fair. I, I don't use. I don't really play real-time strategy all that much. But uh, I do like card games, and I do like stimulating my brain a little bit. I kind of feel like murdering something at the moment. That's the only closest thing you can compare to Verminion to. Yeah. It also kind of reminds me of like... You know, like games like League, for example, which has like those... Different lanes and those three towers you gotta bust through. Before you finally beat your po get to, you know, finish off your opponent. Sometimes it's infuriating, but you still play it anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I mostly just play the Verminion challenges. Yeah, kind of like uh, how some MOBAs are. Uh, it's, yeah, like real-time strategy, like MOBA, it's got some similarities to that stuff. The only difference is, after three towers, that's considered a defeat on whichever end lost all three of them. Ah! I hate waiting. I feel like I should go murder something. Uh, let's see, Lower Lenosha. The weirdly named bat. I can do that. <laughs> More be dry docks. Sure, let's go there. <laughs> Might as well. Hey, Dreadwing. Who who you honking at? Who you honking at? Hmm? Hmm? I don't have the rubber chicken SFX. I only have glass break and Wilhelm. <laughs> I I finally like sort of rebuilt my sound effects board after who knows how long of not having it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have like a few different mounts now, thanks to the treasure hunt, but I still use the chocobo. <laughs> I, I I like my black mage chocobo. Uh, now I just gotta look all over the place for it. You have a row of- oh no. Keep that away from me, Dreadwing. I love you, buddy, but now I'm a little bit scared to go into your streams. Because <laughs> every time I'm going to hear that sound, I'm going to be like, <laughs> Uh, I 
Where are you, you oversized bat? Uh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. But unfortunately, I do not know all the spawns. I only know of one. And that's because I, I was mining over here when it spawned over here. And it's not here. Alright. <laughs> it's worse when it's the Brian TTS one. What? 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 Hey, if any of you guys know where that, that named bat spawns in this area, just go ahead and let me know. I think it's like Barbus Doyle or whatever. I'm just glad I can finally solo B ranks. <laughs> Took me to get to level 60 for that. But it's okay. I'm glad because, uh... <laughs> Pixel isn't usually on until, like, later, later into the day. Whenever you're lazy, you just use... You use that, and... <laughs> There's a section for V-Rings, that's nice. I mean, I would, but I'm also trying to kill some time before I go to the docks. <laughs> No, running around like a headless chicken is great exercise for my chocobo. Uh, but uh, you, you can keep your head uh, breadstick. I named my chocobo breadstick. <laughs> because uh, uh, there's actually a little bit of history attached to that name and... Yeah, I do play D&D. Sometimes, you know, like Dungeons and Dragons. And... At one point, like in one of the s sessions, when we got to naming our group, everyone else wanted to call us the Olive Garden. I don't know why, they just wanted that. And then... Uh, like, when we got a horse at some point, everyone decided to name it Breadstick. <laughs> so, me naming my Chocobo Breadstick is a reference, is a reference to my very first D&D campaign I've ever been in. Redwing, I have no idea what you're on about other than, like, maybe a vacuum cleaner in Canada. What? Salt Strand? Oh! That area I passed by? I, was, I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's like that giant strip of crystal. Thank you. <laughs> wait, wait. Now it tells me I sent my mark to the southwest? Now you do? Just told me in the chat. Come on! <laughs> it was a friend who told you. <laughs> Still, regardless, I am... I am grateful for your help. Even if you, it was merely just passing along the message. Oh, Batsy! Ah! There you are! Alright, you bat! Eat this! 
<laughs> oh, that's my that's my only mark bill objective done. <laughs> so fast. Thank you. Is that you? <laughs> well, that just made my day. Maybe. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, nice outfit. Let's see, seven more minutes until I head to the docks. Oh, wow. What a mount. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what, where do you even get that mount? It's wild. I bet it's not until like later in the next later game, maybe, but. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Limsa Laminza Upper Decks. Eureka, I see. I'm not mistaken, Cider Spider like spent like ridiculous amount of time there. Oh hey, I found the bat again. <laughs> I should probably leave it for somebody who needs to do that weekly. No, funnily enough, he actually ran by me in Limsa Laminza on stream. <laughs> I was just I was just casually uh, playing and trying to get my mog tomes when he just Newed past. Pretty cool experience. Maybe one day I'll have the courage to legitimately try to say hi to him in game. I don't know. I think he gets a lot of attention as is, though. And I'd rather respect that space. Maybe one day. <sighs> I'm so full of yawns today. <laughs> you should have seen me earlier. <laughs> you don't think he minds when people form a posse in the background? Yeah, I've noticed, like, both in videos and in streams, like, whenever, like, there's a group around him, he just doesn't really pay them much mind. He's like, okay, cool. They're, they're, they're here. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I really do like his chill attitude. Nice. Wait, is that a Duskoid Ellison right there? Whoa. I get excited every time I run into an Allison, and even more excited if I run into a Dusk White. Yeah, he's the fun guy. Yeah, at like one point, I just caught wind of his videos on my YouTube radar and... Ever since the first video, it's just, I could tell. I really liked listening to him. Well, is in a rare breed? Well, feast your eyes on one. <laughs> I know, when I... When uh, my, my buddy Pixel, who, you know, who also plays this game, you know, kept bugging me to play it, like, every, every time, like, you know, I 
brought up and like, oh, it seems fun, maybe. And it's like, oh, you should do it. There's a free trial. I'm like, really? Yeah, you should do it. <laughs> I, I would say it only took like a couple of weeks to a month at most to like rope me in, maybe. And ever since I first started, I've been hooked. Like, I've only played for, like, a uh, couple months, I think. And I've already accumulated 15 days, 9 hours, and 43 minutes. In case you don't know, that's a good few hundred hours. <laughs> well, you never play them yourself, but you respect them? That's cool. You probably never picked it up if it didn't have the branding. <laughs> hey, we all have our own reasons for playing. You've been a huge Final Fantasy fan for over a decade? Dude, I respect that. It wasn't until, like, semi-recently that I got into Final Fantasy. Like, I I've seen... I've seen, like, Final Fantasy stuff around. And... Brushed... With, um... Final Fantasy fourteen online content here and there on YouTube, like... Throughout the years, but... <laughs> yeah, like I said, it wasn't until, like... Semi-recently in my life that they started playing. Especially during, like, a difficult time period for me, IRL. This game has been, like, a comfort game for me. And I also thank Sire Spider to add to that because he's so nice to listen to in the background. I just... <laughs> Do you have friends who've been Final Fantasy nuts for longer than other friends have been alive? Dude... Honestly, from what I can tell, Final Fantasy is, like, loved by, like, so many different generations. Hey, I'm not that old either. <laughs> I think Red Wing's just, like, referring to some people. Been, you've been playing them since you're... ...little? Dude. I've been playing Pokemon since I was little. <laughs> That's- that was my thing. And I- I love it to pieces. Gen 5's my favorite. That too? <gasps> no way! You love Pokemon too? Yes! <laughs> I love that stuff! Yes! I am a Gen 5 enjoyer! I actually remember when I was little, uh, Soul Silver and Heart Gold being out in the stores, and I never really got my chance to play those first. I think it was like until it's like mm, 10, 12, something that I got my first DS. It was a flame red one. The first ever game I got for Christmas, along with the DS, was Pokemon Rumble Blast. And the first mainline uh, Pokemon game I got was Pokemon Black version. And then I got white version too. <laughs> and then so on and so forth. Up, oh, sh shut up timer. And... Honestly, out of like all the games I've ever played, I think I, I think Gen 5 is like most memorable for me because that storyline is nuts. Mystery Dungeon. Oh nice, nice, nice. Actually remember that reminds me, uh my first Mystery Dungeon game was Gates to Infinity. That one also really stuck with me. The, you know, the story of it. Mainline was Diamond and Pearl? Honestly, that's pretty nice to start with. <laughs> hey, Nano! Long time to see. How are you doing today, buddy? Yeah, you're like one of the... Red and blue. Yeah, you played some of the OG ones, I remember. Yeah, Gen 5 is really good. Uh, if I'm not 
not mistaken, I've heard... I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I've heard that they might be doing remakes on those... Like, it's in the plans or the works. But I, I don't know how true that that rumor is. But if they're going to be doing that, if they're going to be doing Gen 5 remakes, they better do it right or else I'm going to be sad and upset spaghetti. They did get remade already? Yeah, I mean Gen 5. Gen 5 specifically. I know that Diamond Pearl got their remix. Eh. Mystery Dungeon? Um, no, I'm not. I wasn't referring to those. <laughs> oh, which one? Was it? Wh which one was the remake for Mystery Dungeon stuff? Let's see, either Gen 5 Remakes, Gen 2 Remakes, or Gen 5 Remakes and Gen 2 Legends Celebi. They plan on doing the Sinnoh region? Oh, Rescue Team DX. Uh, yeah, I, it, the, the full name of it escaped my mind. I remember the, like, the last bit was DX, but I can... I, I mean, I've heard it, it's... Uh, Rescue Team DX isn't exactly amazing. I was going to get it, but then I just, like, heard enough comments where it's like, yeah, you should probably not get it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I still wonder if, if that holds up. How was the performance on, on it, Nano? Did it have any stutters or issues? Any bugs? Because if not, then maybe I'll I'll snag myself a copy. <laughs> I see in your excitement you forgot about DX. <laughs> you wanted to fill out uh, the, the original. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read this entire sentence, and the last bit is causing my brain to factory reset. <laughs> 253, seven more minutes until we go fishing. Actually, it's like... You played enough of the OG to not want the remake anymore? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, I still like to play remakes to experience it. Uh, because you know, I just like seeing what the differences are and seeing like the artistic choices they made or tweaks they made to storylines or combat. It. And also, it's usually for it's usually me trying to support the things that I do like as well. So there's that. <laughs> that that's only if I like bump into a remake that I think is like worth buying. <sighs> Yeah, well, I, uh, I know it's a little different from remake talk, but I remember going through the store and apparently there's DLC for Animal Crossing New Horizons and that just completely flew under my radar for like the past couple years. Because <laughs> that, game, that game came out in like, I think maybe 2020. I'm just surprised. Well, then again, most of the news back in 2020 was like, Oh no, COVID's gonna get you! It's pandemic! Everything locked down, etc, etc. Got super pumped when Nintendo Direct showed a new Gundam game coming out. <laughs> I, I'm happy for you. 
And I'm excited for you too. I may not be like super into Gundam, but I can tell you love them very much and <laughs> I can help us support that, yeah? It's nice to be passionate about stuff. It's like a new island where you re you already build a hotel or something. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of like Happy Home Designers for 3DS. I played that a lot and I really enjoyed getting my creativity out. Yeah, I know what you mean for like the Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> I think he got Dreadwing excited too now. Yay, giant robots. Pew pew, pew 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 pew. Lady from Happy Homes Designers is the one who hired you for DLC. Hey there, Jimmy. Welcome in. See, I'm gonna be real. If it weren't for a Final Fantasy VII remake, you wouldn't be in 14. Honestly, fair enough. <laughs> we all have our gateways into, like, Final Fantasy. For me, it was friends that told me I should play this game. And then I finally got started on it. Uh, I still remember the day I started out as a thaumaturge. <laughs> Cartoon opening theme that covers your feelings on giant robots. <laughs> oh yeah. That's... That's kind of comical. I've been seeing people asking why Cloud acts so different in the demo for Rebirth compared to just Remake, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Opening theme for Mega XLR. I haven't heard of that in my life, but... <laughs> okay. You know, I just opened up my YouTube, and apparently there's news on Project L, which is that fighting game that those people are working on. It seems promising from what I know. Let's see. Opening OST to... Megas... XLR. I'ma go get my earbuds. Because I don't feel like tabbing out of this game. <laughs> hey, tomato! How are you today? There's an old cartoon on Cartoon Network. Basically, it was an evangelion made by an American. He's more happy about robot fights than psychological <laughs> drama. <laughs> I respect that. Sometimes you just want to watch robots fight. Oh, speaking of which, that reminds me, there's a... Uh... <laughs> I can't remember the exact name, but... These people would build robots and they would have them fight in... In a... In an enclosed re arena and there's... And it's until... Like, one of them can't fight anymore. Yeah, like, it was like simple, like, <laughs> Robot Wars might have been. Register to, uh, oh wait. I forgot to equip my fishing rod! I'm an idiot! <laughs> yes, I would like to embark. You study robotics? I didn't even know that about you, Nana. Maybe it just never came up. I, I just always knew you as a fan of, of Gundams and just robots in general, but I didn't know you were... You were studying robotics at one point. 
You know, funnily enough, I did also delve like a smidge into robotics realm. But that was mostly because I was a... Uh, I was going through computer science classes and I at one point joined TSA. I think I was, I think it stands for Technology Student Association. Oh, you studied both astronomy and robotics. Dude, that's neat. Craig Charles, one of the hosts, but name sounds familiar. He's playing David Lister and Red Dwarf. I, I'm a little bit ignorant when it comes to the robot realm, unfortunately. I usually fish by the rogue and then lady. Rag for spectral. Okay. Let's get started some, with some quick casts. <laughs> You're in love with space. Is it is this pronounced Fugu? Like this uh, the, the the type of fish you gotta catch. Ufku I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce everything in this game, you kidding me? <laughs> you should have seen me earlier in the gold saucer trying to pronounce and immediately giving up at a name. You're making fun of the name. Huh. Go figure, Nano. You and your broken dad humor. Ick. <laughs> You're not even that old and you have dad humor. Doofus. Please give us a gold storm. I want to see the birds poop upon the unfortunate souls. <laughs> Nano. I'm not pro I'm not a dad. <laughs> Hey, fish, hurry up and get on my fishing rod. Hey, Fugle, get on my fishing rod. I need to complete objectives. Oh, I got a ferocious bite this time. Yeah, I know he's- I, I know he's joking. <laughs> I'm just taking a jab at him. I, I'd say we're- we're, uh, friends enough to where we just do that to each other. Where we make fun of, like, I don't know, Nano having cringe jokes. <laughs> oh, the fish seeing all the hooks like, hey, run! Maybe they are trying to avoid me, I don't know. I've been having a string of like bad luck with trying to complete objectives. And last night, I think it was my last ocean fishing uh, session before I was going to bed. I procced Spectral, I'd say like fairly early on into the first stop. And then the, the next two stops after had nothing. No gulls, no dolphins, no spectral. <laughs> Nothing. This is rough. <laughs> Eek! The ferocious bite! Did that cat just disappear? A spectral butterfly and nothing else? Bah!
Come on! <laughs> Don't you just love when you get a spectral fish and it doesn't do anything else? I mean, I've heard it is a, it's a low chance, though, that you proc Spectral. Unless, I don't know, you're just some madman. Oh, you want me to tell the fish things? Well, I'm, well, I, I'm fishing, so I... <laughs> I guess I should t tell it to all of the fish. A fish! Both in my room and in this game, y'all are adorable! For those who are new here, I, I have three black neon tetras. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do I need for int? What do I need for int? I don't know what I need for int! Ah! I'm still learning about fishing. I'm catching you, little brother fish. <laughs> uh, a violent, an aura of violent menace rises from the depths. Mm -mm. <sighs> You're hungry right now? I mean, you can always get yourself some food. You don't want to forget about yourself. Actually, it is about lunchtime for me. I should take a break at some point. You you can't eat. But well, why not? Are you restricted from it or something? Or you, or you get like nothing in the house? Oh, finally! A metallic box fish shows up. Huh. Who isn't agreeing with you for the past couple of days? That's uh, uh, could be like an upset stomach. Could be you being sick. Could be you getting food food poisoning. I'm not entirely sure, but I I'd say keep an eye on it if it's been doing that for like a few days. And stick to yeah, stick the liquids in in light foods like you know crackers and, and generally things that can be handled on like most stomachs when you're f not feeling too good because I, I know that sometimes if you eat something and it, and it really upsets your stomach, you're, you're gonna be feeling that for a while. Maybe you have an eating disorder? Mm, maybe, maybe not. I, I'd say... It, I, I'd say, like, check with a doctor on that. Because... You know... There's supposed to be more of experts on that stuff. I huh. I hope I click the right button. A chrome hammerhead. Cool. That's nothing I'm looking for. <laughs> 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 
You already got out of the hospital with minimal damage. Wait, what? <laughs> you don't feel like going- You don't feel like going back. What did they do to you? That sounded like you had a scarring experience. You don't have to share, of course. If it troubles you too much. But to me, it sounds like you got scarred in there. I have to admit, hospital visits aren't... They don't always yield positive experiences. I think it's also very dependent on who you get for, for you know, the person who's going to be treating you. And that can largely impact the experience. Not just, like, costs. Oh, you had a pinched nerve? Dude, that's awful. You got temporarily paralyzed because of that? I'm glad you're doing better. That sounds awful. And I can tell you for a fact, I know it's extremely awful. And I can relate to that because my, my dad has a bad back. And, he, you know, he, he's gotten, you know, pressure on his nerves before. And I, I've, I've seen how it can really impact somebody. And even trying to, like, sit down can, can make you uh, whimper in pain. You've had spine trouble since you were a teenager? You, wait, you shot in the spine? Well, I'm glad you're mostly in one piece. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, I, yeah, like I said, I'm glad you're doing better. Stretching medicine? Yeah, physical therapy is always good for the body. Doing daily stretches, like even if it's just a little bit, it's good for long-term health. Yay, we got dolphins. And before that, we got gulls. And now we have a spectral current! Let's go! Wait, who procked it? Was it me? Who was it? Oh, it's somebody else, and I just happened to catch Spectral Bass at the same time. You took a bullet to the back. <laughs> Not the back shot you're wanting. Was someone mad at you? Stray shot? You know what? You don't have to answer. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just glad you're okay. A silencer. A massive boulder begins to writhe. Uh, uh. Oh, I have ten anglers art. That's nice. Especially at a time like this where the spectral's procced. Let all the fish up into my hand. Be fish. <laughs> Um, nom nom. Okay. Again? I don't know if it's the right bait. Oh, well, I'll read your message in a second, Nano. Oops, 
auto mod. Sorry about that. Another silencer, let's go. <laughs> See, this girl I knew in high school threw me under the bus to her gang member boyfriend. I already see where this is going. That was... Uh, screwing her to actually hide the actual guy she was sleeping with. So he shot at you. Oh, yikes. Avoided the first bullet. The second you pointed out from him and you pushed him out of the way. And it went along your back. Walked closer and, and then you, you pinned him down. My, my dude, I am, that is such a wild story. I, I don't have double fish catch tomato. I'm capped at level 70. Or is it something that's taught to me? Because if it's something taught to me, then I'll just go do my fisher quests. Because <laughs> I hit the max cap for a free trial. Let's see, plump again. Unlock it by doing fishing class quests. Got you. You disappoint, Tomato. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I've been running around like crazy trying to get, um... Mog Tomes. <laughs> Double hook is a level 65 action. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I, I just gotta do my fishing quest then. <laughs> I can do that after the fishing trip. Whoopee! <laughs> oh wait, I need to get cast. What am I doing? I'm just standing there like an idiot. <laughs> you know, there's two things I don't mind doing in this game. Ocean fishing. And doing Praetorium runs repeatedly. Mabinogi. What's that game about? Doesn't sound like something I've encountered. Oof, how very glib. <laughs> Save points for spectral and then use patience. Yeah, I have patience right here. On your eight? Oh. Uh, I, tomato, I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> It's an early 2000s Korean slash Chinese MMO that you played a lot of. I see. Yeah, I never really played much of any MMOs. Hit the 8 and 9 keys for good fish. Oh, you mean my precision and powerful hook sets. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> Rather than usually like hitting the numbers on the keyboard, I tend to use my mouse cursor. It's just the way I've usually done it. First MMO, technically, and even got married in it. <laughs> Wonder how long that lasted. Still technically, yeah. That's impressive. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, can you also get married in this game too? <laughs> That's still a thing. That's impressive. Twenty years old this year? It's even on Steam now. Dude, that's impressive. I wonder if we'll get Spectral at all. Uh oh. 
<laughs> well, that answers that. Let's go at it. <laughs> Mob and Nogi walked so Final Fantasy XIV could run. <laughs> Success is like a house. You build the foundation and it's only upwards from there. You build piece by piece. I think I might actually get my Fugu uh, goal done if this spectral current keeps up. Well, keeps giving me what I need. Yeah! <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> I think it, that's so funny to refer to Nellison like that, but it's true. Allisons do have a longer than normal neck, so to speak. Yes, we grow in numbers. I I play a dusk white specifically. Yeah, the yeah the dark elf. I'm a fan of dark elves. You can thank D and D for that. <laughs> Yay! I caught all the fugu that I need. It's so nice that we also have uh, the dolphin thing as well. You can't discriminate between giraffes. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, every time I walk by that one P NPC in Gridania that's like scolding that dark elf, uh, yeah, the the dusk white, I'm like, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know tomato. I I only really do it when I need to. Oh yeah, Na Nano and, uh... And Nano I and Pixel have this joke about... Like, ever since I, like, I started... Like, cause, you know, I started Elizen and I still am. Ever since then, for some reason, everybody in our group is noticing them more. <laughs> We, we joke about how there's more of them. I'm <laughs> the first and last of my kind. What? But there's another one right there. Jimmy's one. You regularly see people in the boat having 10 stacks all the way up to the end and not knowing about it. Now, I usually keep, keep an eye on those. And when I have 10, I go ham. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah the giraffe numbers are growing, and no way can explain it. <laughs> how, how am I there first, Nano? Well, like the first in our group. I mean that that would be kind of true, I think. I remember Pixel saying at one point one of his other buddies was an Allison, but they then they like switched to something else. I think it was like. Either Mikote or Viera. Eh, 6,766. Okay. You were the first elf and last elf I saw. Huh. Okay, now to unclog my inventory because I just can't stand it. After I repair my gear. Because I don't feel like using dark matter. <laughs> have plenty of spectral basses. Yeah, there's so much decent that happens on these docks after a fishing trip. It's nuts. I still need to unlock decent. I mean, I'd be doing the decent too to, for the sh for you know, like water shards, but 
Obviously can't do it. <laughs> I need to crack this open for my gladi my gladiator at some point. Cause I I got it specifically for my gladiator. And now I shove this fish into the bag. I, um, <coughs> I, I, as you can tell, I hoard some dice. <laughs> I have a road dedicated to it as well. Can I even use these? <gasps> I can finally use them! About time! What? Now! Now! You have a roulette to do? That's alright. Go do your stuff, man. Your chocobo sa saddlebag's full of dice, too? Good to know I'm not the only one. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I need to go back so I can set, uh, set my timer more accurately. I heard my Discord going off. Uh, it's one of my buddies making an announcement in their Discord. This is the main story, uh, Roulette. Probably be Prey. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll run into each other. Because I do plan on doing some Prey today. The hour and thirty-two minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour and twenty-two minutes. <laughs> one hour and twenty-two minutes. <laughs> I didn't feel like opening up the lock screen. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the thing I was gonna do. Yes, Fisher, right. Actually, I should just use this Aetherite right here. Or er, Ethernet shard? Uh, Nanocloud. Nanocloud? I do not have TTS. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> Even if you donate, like, a certain amount of bits, I don't- I still don't have TTS. I don't have that set up. Fisherman's Guild. You are on Crystal Data Center? Sure, we might have ran into each other at Roulette at one point. I'm usually... Whenever I'm doing... Prey runs, I am usually either on, like, Black Mage or Red Mage. <laughs> Those are the two I mainly play. Oh, na... Yeah, you know, I've seen, I've seen people of, um, from different servers end up in a party together. Like, all you gotta do is, like, what, like, migrate to different world? Like, off to a different one? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how it works. It pulls from all of the data center, I see. Yeah, you can go visit other, uh, servers. Even- even Cider Spider had to do it at some point for, like, you know, crafting materials. Yeah, it, it just won't put you on with people from different data centers. Yeah, I got you. So... So, if someone's on Ether, then you won't be seeing people from Ether if you're on Crystal. You too. Alright. You might recall Chuchurun. The babble-spewing fish connoisseur? Perhaps not, but he certainly recalls you. Dude, all I did was give him some fish. Did he like him that much? Apparently, there aren't enough fish in the sea, so he set his sights on freshwater fish. He's even tried catching them himself, though that's proved problematic so far. 
While children possess a healthy appetite for fish, they lack the necessary patience and often end up eating their own bait. The problem has a relatively straightforward solution, employing a lure in place of live bait. Unfortunately, this straightforward solution requires a roundabout demonstration as Chuchurun does not readily accept the concept of inedible bait. So, if only you might snag five warm water trout with crow flies, you might come to see the light. Let's see, shores of Oakwood in Upper Lenosha. In and consider inauspicious to cast one's line under the watchful case of a giant sea serpent. That's terrifying. The Oakwood Upper, upper Lenosha. I'll ch try to remember that. <laughs> upper Lenosha. Oakwood. Yeah, I feel like having some hot tea. I might go- actually, I might go ahead and <laughs> get some. Let's see, Middle Lenosha? I think that's the gate I should go to. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be right back. Maybe I'll give you a nice image on the be right back screen too. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm back. I switch the screen over. There we go. I have my tea now. Not just water. <laughs> I wanted something nice and hot. Hot tea helps invigorate the soul. I usually end up drinking just regular black tea most of the time. Just with like some sugar. Make it a bit sweet. That's how I usually like to have <laughs> tea. But I also have some loose leaf as well. I, I have a whole stash of it. No, I think I was supposed to... Yeah, I was supposed to go to Opera Lenosha and... Hit up Oakwood. Wait. Do I have the right bait? Please tell me I do. No, I don't. <laughs> I need to go back. What is the type of bait that Lollafell said? I know it's a lure. Ah. Uh. Welp. Yeah, 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 crowfly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now I remember. Uh, do they have that the vendor? I'm not even sure where to find the crowfly specifically. What do you mean, Dreadwing? Huh? More donuts. Oh, you're referring to more dona. <laughs> I get you, I get you. Oh, for a second I thought I saw a pixel. Yeah, there is a traitor. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's this guy has a whole bunch of stuff. I do need fish oil for some things I'm trying to make. Like, how in the world do I get fish oil? It's an alchemist thing. Oh. Gotta be somebody else. No, oh, that's gear. Gotta be Kimmy. Of course, the one time I know where things are, I I, I forget where it is on stream. <sighs> Find it. It's a jeweler, so it's obviously not there. Pokemon Day is in five days. What, like, the anniversary of it? Oh! Is it the 51st anniversary? No, it's not that guy. Field craft supplier, maybe this guy. Yes, it is this guy. Roof fly. There's a chocobo fly. Aha. I'm trying to have a. Uh, I'm leaning in to look at it. And. 
Yeah, the, I actually caught wind of the 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 crossover event. The um, this it, it's going to be uh, I think an event with like Final Fantasy fifteen. Nano, yeah. come on! No, I'm not fifty one. Do I sound fifty one to you? No, I'm not. I'm actually quite young. Well, at least for a time being. <laughs> this is a weird conversation I'm seeing in, <laughs> in the Final Fantasy chat. Uh, how many crow flies will I need? On Wednesday it starts, I can get the regalia amount. Wait, what does the regalia amount look like? I think 20 should be enough. Oops, I accidentally moved the die. Large black car that fits four people. So, something akin to like a limousine? A nice car <laughs> and hey if if i can have a crack at it as a free to play then sure why not final fantasy 15 was kind of a driving sim uh maybe <laughs> there you go it's up for craps The level 50 quest here should be fine. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Is there me excited then? I'm not gonna skip it on limited stuff, can we? If I'm able to do it, I'll try. I must add to my collection. Key. Yep, thank you guys. All right, let's go. Chocobo, go. <laughs> I'm wonderful. Uh, ever change off my breast sick. He's my buddy. Started a game when the last Final Fantasy XV crossover happened. And your entire time playing, you've got not getting it? Aww. <laughs> uh, if I'm not mistaken, when I started, it was like just a like maybe like a couple weeks before. Before. The event where you could get Ryunosuke the minion. Your first time able to get it? Hey, let's go! I don't know which way am I supposed to go on this map. Oh, where is this? That's eastern. So I go this way? I just don't want to be bad with directions. Let's see, it's... Uh, doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, you gotta go through east slash west to get to the north. I wonder what they'll be having us doing in the Final Fantasy XV event. I'm 
I'm sure we'll be able to do it together. Look at all those fat doodles. Dude, I almost keep forgetting that PC can make your room warm. <laughs> I might have to switch to a t-shirt and get out of this long sleeve shirt I'm, I'm in. Because uh, I'm one of those people who can get cold easy. Yeah. That's why I have like 5 million blankets in my room. <laughs> All of which are Rashi approved, I assure you. Hey, we're in Oakwood now. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm level 70 Fisher, so I should be fine with the sneak on. <laughs> uh... Is there anything I'm missing? I just want to make sure. mineral deposits and I see why don't I have Look at this body of water I mean, it looks like it, it would be. Oh well, one way to find out! <laughs> kind of peaceful here. There we go, crow fly. Oh, here goes nothing. That sound. It's like click, 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 click. Warm water trouts. Oh, I am in the right place. Good to know. Yay. <laughs> ah, crazy. It's, it's the... I love, I love how that, that, um, the handle just doesn't, it just doesn't move when you're trying to reel four-eyed fish. Why is it called four-eyed? Is it, are its eyes that big? Kind of looks like it's quite comical. Look at them nerds go. Oh, I accidentally clicked the wrong button.
two more. And then I get to bring him to the... To cheer and dude. It feels weird seeing a person in the <laughs> Labyrinth of Agents quest. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I did tell Pixel that I, I'd be willing to do it tomorrow, which is now today, so... <laughs> You can add that to the list, I suppose. But I think that if I'm going to be doing it, it'll have to be later. Because that's when Pixel is usually on. Granted, his, you know, adult responsibilities don't get in the way. But I'm actually kind of scared about going into that raid. I've never been in one before. At all. I don't even know what to expect. At least in Ancients, you know, the Labyrinth. Yeah, get him! Beat him down! Beat him down! <laughs> Peacefully fishing meanwhile there's fighting in the background. I don't care about my contribution. Uh, I'll just give him a heal. There you go, buddy. These days, the Crystal Tower raids are our cakewalk. Uh, that's good to know. <laughs> raids here is Labyrinth, Circus, Tower. Probably want to turn down other players' effects because <laughs> your screen will be a light show. Really? In the in the raids? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that should be in. System configuration. I'm going to have to remember to do it later. Three tanks, three heals, and 15 TPS. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on. It's not just, like, the boss. Uh... Let's go to Limza. This place is huge and busy. Oh, you came with Diabolos? Di Welcome! <laughs> You're totally not camping the Fisher Job Quest area. Uh huh, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be there in a split second anyways. I just bumped into another Elizum. And I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Without bait? Well, guess what? I caught these. With the lures. 
Yes, I did. Indeed, for all the fish know, the lore may as well be live. No exaggeration, skillfully use them to catch these tasty tasties. You see, future deception lies at the heart of fishing. Yes, yes, lies lie at the heart of fishing. Chuchurun no fool, chuchurun full fish! <laughs> Precisely. Well, I trust that we've managed to lure him, <laughs> guide you to the path of self sufficient fishing. I already have the best gear, so I might as well take the bronze pieces. <laughs> Best gear I can get for now, unless I manage to find a place. Alright, next! Huh, basketball. Baseball. T. It actually kind of looks fancy. Might keep that for, like, craft or glam or something. <laughs> I do like my glam a little bit. People tell me it's the true end game. I'm like, well, I guess I already got the memo. Even though I'm still in A Realm Reborn. Trying to get to Heaven's Word. <laughs> the only reason why I haven't like gotten to Heaven's Word yet, quite yet, is because I'm focusing more heavily on the Moogle event. <laughs> but once it's over, uh, I'm, I'm going... Back to slowing down a little bit and just doing main story quest lines and other things. Vulgar Gourd Float. Uh, fish Wheeling. Oh, the Mooch thing. Gotta head out, but you drop a follow and try to lurk. Thank you for swinging by, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's nice seeing new people in here. Appreciate the company. Happy lurking! <laughs> Crayfish balls to catch a striped goby. Then recast to catch the shadow catfish. Yep, I, I know I know how Moochin works. And I have pretty good perception, so I should be fine. Uh got got gun what? And confusion. <laughs> I'll go to Hawker's Alley real quick to make sure I've got I I got this I get the stuff I need. Uh fish. Yeah, I have seventy five. So I'm good on that, I just need it. Get rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> I just can't stand having clogged inventory. Become one with the fish. You will catch a lot. Yes. Yes, that is the way of fishing. Young body. Uh... Here, have my fish. And, uh, that too, and this too, because I don't care about them. <laughs> uh, Did I even keep some of this stuff on me?
Eh. Good enough for now, I guess. Fall group uh... Yeah, it's out there in Gridania. Thank you guys for being here. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Just a little thought I have on my mind. <laughs> the only word I understood in that sentence, Nano, was the word omelette. <laughs> okay, I think I, was, I, don't know, if I paid enough attention. There's a crayfish ball. I see. He's on what? I see now. Dexter's laboratory. Huh? Dude, I haven't heard uh, of Dexter's laboratory in so long. That, dude, that's like my childhood era. <laughs> like, back with, you know, like, Dexter and Timmy Turner and, you know, all that. And, and I think... I gotta be kidding. Jimmy Neutron. I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> Made you want to be a scientist, I see. Oh yeah, if I'm not mistaken, there was also like Danny Phantom as well. 2000s era, boys! <laughs> a maiden carp. I don't need a main carp, I need a striped goby. <laughs> oh well, more for my... Uh... Fish... Pendium. Yeah, that. <laughs> my fish guide. <laughs> a brass loach. Huh, interesting. I haven't fished in too many places outside ocean fishing, so... Every... New fish I see is just... Huh, I didn't even know it was there. Basically a new discovery. <laughs> yes! Finally! We got our large striped goby. And now we catch this unfortunate... Um, this poor unfortunate soul. So it can be gutted and delivered. You seeing the a catfish, it reminds me of how huge those things can get. Like catfish in general can grow to a scary size and like swallow things and uh, of it like terrifying size <laughs> just reminds me of like you know seeing those videos and stuff that means it's check up rectums uh -uh. like 500 gil to go places Yeah, I don't feel like taking too long, though. Brain blast. Oh, no. No, I need my brains.
People are singing the Spongebob song of F is for friends who do stuff together, you know, that one. <laughs> Cricket always used the opening verse. <laughs> you is for you and me! <laughs> Uh, should probably stop before YouTube tries to. I mean, I'm not monetized on my YouTube channel yet, but <laughs> I just don't want to deal with the copyright. It's so annoying, you know. And it's for no survivors. The Bolo's chat, man. Uh, Fisherman's Guild. I have a problem with copyright, blame Disney. Honestly! I don't think it's just Disney that's an issue. The whole copyright system on YouTube is just messed up. It's like... You can just like, get so easily claimed by like a bot or something. <laughs> Makes you glad you're not by the big A3. Oh well, yeah, that's where like, 5 million people are. I tend to like my peace and quiet. So, one of my favorite places to be is Old Daw, actually. YouTube's copyright system is inherently flawed, actually. Yeah, it is. Very much is. And I tell you what, even big content creators are saying it. Like, even, like, advocates for, like, just, like, better overall, like, quality of life on YouTube. Like, you know, people like Guy and I think maybe even... Markiplier? I'm not 100% sure. But, I would say they've mentioned at least once, like, how bad it is. Yeah, to the point that YouTube themselves potentially open themselves up to being on the bad end of a fraud case. True. Oh, that reminds me. Wasn't YouTube, like, sued at one point for something? I think it happened, like, not too long ago. The fat rat? You know, th that music guy? Actually had a potential fraud case against YouTube. False Bungie claims. What? What Bungie have to do with... Fat rat. Because YouTube sided with a... Intended squatter over actual copyright holder. Yeah, dude, that's messed up. Hey, they say never to look up gift fish in the mouth. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? But one can't help but stare at that gaping grimace. It looks like it could swallow a person whole. See, I told you, catfishes are menaces. It wasn't Bungie, but in person you're pretending to be Bungie. I, I see. Did the fat rat manage to get that solved? I hope they did. At least eventually. Especially if it's like on their own music that they make themselves. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that Yarzen's covet fish, too, sometimes migrating north and attacking fishermen in hopes of stealing the catch. Suppose I should have warned you about that ahead of time. Uh-huh, you should have. Destiny lore, dude. Maybe or maybe might not know about that guy. I, I've been out of the, uh, the Destiny scope for just for a good bit. Honestly, I need to get back into that game. Just so that way I can... Um... At least do a ma uh, Grandmaster's run. Like, get to the point where I can do one of those. Do one. 
and then and then say, okay, I accomplished what I wanted to do, and done. Hey, Clayton! It's been a long time. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> remember when Destiny was relevant? Those are days. Dude, I remember um, growing up, like, seeing bits about Destiny here and there. Ballad lore. Yeah, I don't think I recognize that name. There's, like, so many Destiny content creators out there, it's, like, hard to... You know. <laughs> find certain ones, I guess. Where is Walla Walla? Oh, that... You're right here. Okay. Psst! Pardon me, but perhaps I might persuade you to prepare them in a proper bath. Water washes off the waste you can wipe away, but the invisible vapor is only vanished with vinegar. You must mine the mud you can't see. Speaking of mud you can't see, where did you come for a, come out of all, all of a sudden? I'm going through it, Clayton. It's been rough for me ever since, like, December of last year, and it, it, well, it's just, it, it's like difficult to explain, because I, 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 I just, it's a bit of a like sense of family issue, I, I think I already like, Put in announcements like a GoFundMe and explain just a little bit of what happened. But, uh, in case you haven't seen it, since it's been a hot minute, I, uh, my, my parents are splitting. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... I, I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna focus a little bit more on the game. Because every time I think about... That situation, it just kind of... Dampens my mood a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, Clayton. Thank you. You know, I actually have to thank Pirate Software, you know, Thor, for mm, reminding me I still have the ability to do things and pursue things. I feel like I needed that boost within, like, the past month or so. And I'm trying to take it easy. <laughs> Yeah, not now when I bought. Read the room. Read the room. And I, you know, I even... I even went back to therapy. Like, I managed to find a good, uh, decent enough therapist like that I can actually kind of click with. Because uh, back in December when, like, everything happened, it was just, like, one thing after another. I learned the, you don't know, my mom um, divulged the truth to, uh, truth of what's been happening to me. And not long after, my therapist's husband had a stroke and, well, so my, my appointment got canceled, right? So, or, well, it got like shoved further down of the line and and so I, I i just waited anxiously because you know all i was told was like a family emergency at that time <laughs> it wasn't until after i found out that like my from my mom that i learned that my therapist had to retire early because because of <laughs> because of her husband having a, sh a stroke 
and having to take care of him from now. <laughs> Thank you, Clayton. Thank you. It's very kind of you. You gotta head out. That's fine. Thank you for swinging by. I appreciate it. <laughs> Enjoy the emotes. Me too, Johnny and, and Jimmy. Actually, new people g get to enjoy the emotes. Nice! And Nano too! Who's that Nano Cloud 2 nerd? I don't know. Probably the biggest nerd on the face of the planet that knows a lot of dad jokes and also can't help but make uh, Pixel have aneurysms. <laughs> Honestly, that day when we decided to throw Final Fantasy dad jokes at Pixel, I did not regret that. That's only specific, I know, right? Small world. Yeah, Jimmy, you get access to some cool emotes we've got here. Okay, <laughs> Clayton. Thank you. <laughs> you mad lad. Thank you. <laughs> I'll cherish that. But yeah, you'll you'll have access to plenty of cool emotes. In addition to the follower ones, just for following. You know, some of which, uh, get, get tabbed out. Uh... These are all the ones I have. You sold your soul again? <laughs> That's the price you pay. But don't worry, I'm nice. <laughs> but yeah, all the... What I just put there in chat is all the emotes I have. Most of which are actually ones I made. Uh, the... The dog one, the spoon bonk one, and the bop are not ones I've made. But I made everything else, including the Anya, the Sip Sip. I did not make the love one. That was another friend of mine that did it. Ari, she's very sweet. I made the raid one. I made the dummy one. <laughs> the confusion, hype, and the fish. How does that look? Eh. I like the color of it, though. Nofka green dye. It does look kind of fancy. I'll take it for glam purposes. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm still trying to put together some glam plates. Hmm? What's missing for my conjurer? What? Bye for real this time? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you too, Clayton. Enjoy the rest of your day too. Forever much it's worth. That giraffe on the table looks suspicious. I see. <laughs> That's you? Needle. Okay, what's the other one I gotta worry about? Archer. Oh yeah, I still need to do that portrait. I'm a bit of a I've got I've got the itch for art and I, I like to do art, so <laughs> of course I'm gonna do my portraits, you can't be I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look all plain. I mean I'm gonna look some degree of plain maybe, but I like to keep things interesting with my portraits. Oh yeah, I started Archer yesterday because I felt like it. 
Uh, let's see. Back to Fisher. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is it is it Freen? Is it pronounced Freen? Uh, let's say Drivido. Looks French. <gasps> I'm being assaulted. How dare you? <laughs> Spoon worm. Giraffes are French. <laughs> My character's full name is Noxadra Volsadras. <laughs> I don't know if that's French. I just know it it seems like a very elven name. And it's actually the name of one of my D, &D characters I have in my D, D folder. The only difference is uh the this one in Final Fantasy Fourteen is it's a dude. The one that's my D, &D character is is female. Steel goggles. How's that look? It looks kind of silly. <laughs> Silver piece. Incomprehensible customer. Yay! My favorite people to deal with. The catfish you fetched for... I'm not going to pronounce that name. Has raised quite a stir. He's so pleased with the quality and quickness of the delivery that he's been raving about you to anyone in your shot. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like the goggles, bigs, and wedge wear. Yeah, but they rock the look. I don't. <laughs> Whoa, everyone's here. Hi. And now the words swirling around limbs of a fabled fisherman. <laughs> I'm not that good. That has reached the ears of your fellow guildmates. Though most of them have no idea who you are, it doesn't stop the lazy sunbathers from fabricating, f fabricating folk stories about you. Meanwhile, Choo Choo Rune's done his part to add to your fame, singing your praises well beyond the walls of the guild. So well beyond the walls, in fact, that goblins have come to enlist your help. Oh boy! Toctix is a friend of Tutaroon's, so we're somewhat obligated to hear him out. Though I don't expect him to be much more intelligible. Loath though I am to admit it, we will mostly will most likely need Walla Walla Girl. Okay. Ah, fun. Tuturon told many glory tales of mighty fish bringer to Toktix. Toktix is friend, Tuturon is friend. Fish bringer is friendly friend, yes. Moon was shining on the Easter seas of Lanosha when most lovely fish appeared. Toktix wonder if friendly friend fish bringer can bring back lovely fish from Moon Sea. So that's only a fish that can be caught at night? I mean, I, I, some fish are like that, I guess. I mean, yeah. So a goblin gets a glimpse of some gills, and I'm to guess the game. <laughs> Naturally, I know what you need to net. I'm really surprised you saw fit to solicit my support. The moment you mentioned the moon to the Easter Seas of Lenosha. I figured out the frisky fish you're trying. Gift Why is this a tongue twister? Hello? I figured out the frisky fish you're fixing to fetch. <laughs> I see you managed it. <laughs> I see what you did with the emote, Nano. I, I made him I made him the shocked emote, but it, it was a static version. <laughs> Full moon sardines. Schools of striplings migrate under moonlight through the Strait of Merilthor to return to their mothers or meet their makers. See what I named it. What? 
Shocketh. <laughs> I see. Oh, Shooketh. I mean, that's quite an apt name for it. <laughs> From dusk to dawn, droves dip and dive down bloodshore. Spinning spoonworms in the water will snag you some sardines and sate your sponsor. Why does it feel like my reading ability is just slowly degrading? <laughs> like, ever since, like, big. Tongue twisters is one thing, but like, I feel like my brain's having to go through a factory reset. Okay, so I think it's Bloodshore, if I'm not mistaken. Because I remember Walla, Wa, Walla Go. That name is, is he said Bloodshore. Is generally better, Costa del Sol or Wineport? Yeah, Costa del Sol. But that's what I was gonna do. I just wanted to make sure. Before I try teleporting and then having to waste my time running across the screen. <laughs> across the screen. Well, across the land. It's so dreary outside right now. I hate insanely dreary weather. Like, super cloudy weather is not my favorite. <laughs> I see I see you've been you've been up to things in your free time, Nano. <laughs> Wait, what page did I need for full moon sardines? It's ocean fishing, so Oh yeah, it's the it's those worms. Ugh, I've got to go back. <laughs> Good job, me! I'm a doofus. I forgot my stuff! I'm just not gonna lay skill. Let's go this way. Shook a Middle of no show. <laughs> I have my own coffee page. Uh, not a food page. If that's what you're trying to make a joke about. But yeah, I, I do have that. Oh yeah, that's also right. It sometimes... Some people call it coffee, and some people call it ko-fi. Yeah, it's, they're both acceptable. But yeah, that's, um... That's a link to it, in, in case you ever want to donate to me. 
And there's the Discord link in case you ever want to join. I usually post my schedule in there. I also do it on Twitter and I try to do it on YouTube, but I will admit sometimes I forget. But yes, those things are there for your convenience. If you ever, if you so choose. Okay, I've got 15 minutes till I decide to arrive at the ocean fishing dock. Not you. Bait dude is further down. <laughs> uh, spoon worm, yeah. I'll get a little bit more than I'll get double the amount of ten. Just in case, for some reason... For some reason... The fish decide to get off my hook. Whether it be because of my, my silly ADHD brain or otherwise. <laughs> Hello. Actually, you know what? I feel lazy. <laughs> It's a giant fat hamster or guinea pig, one of the two. Ah ha ha! Look at it go. I still wonder how things like that can fly. Final Fantasy people. <laughs> fat cat mount. Yes, squish that cat. Necromancy, literally. <laughs> I don't know if necromancy is what causes it to fly. Whoa, look at all the fish. I appreciate the fact that I can swim in this game. I really do. <laughs> this looks like a nice spot. Yee! Well, that does look like the fishing spot. I mean, it's glaringly obvious that there are fishing poles right there. Yep. Right here. Spoon worm. Uh, I see Adama I've got you again. Just give me a second. Yeah, the mod doesn't like you. Oh, there's a journal entry on it? Seeing as how this... I, I'm just gonna call it a cattle. 
can defy the very laws of physics by propelling itself high into the firmament. It is very likely that the creature is either a void sense using a bloated cat's corpse as its corporeal vessel, or a deceased pet reanimated by one well-versed in necromantic arts. I see. <laughs> Okay, I guess you do have a point then. Oh, so it's not it's not a hamster, it's just a really fat cat. The shark. You stay over there, buddy. Do I have to catch a full the full moon fish at night? <laughs> There's a fat cat minion you can get? I, I know the coral one, ones uh, exist. But like a fat cat? Ooh. Yeah, it is called full moon sardine. Well. <laughs> Hey, son, can you move a little faster? On your way, Acosta. Seriously, Knox? There's a chair right there. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> what a precarious position to be sitting. It's like right on the edge of the seat. Look at you with your ins insane mount. <laughs> we just clipped straight through the docks. <laughs> Red chocobo. Wait, kind of orange red. You are very precious. Very precious, yes. Pet, 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 pet. Yes, you're so cute. You really weren't joking. Why do you give it that kind of tail, though? How odd. It is the definition of a plump loaf. Actually, I think it's more akin to like something like a dumpling. <laughs> so fat! Very cute. Oh. Oh, the little burb is shy. It's okay. It's okay. How long does it take for a night to come around? <laughs> Oh, I've got six minutes before I had the dog. <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna chill here for the meantime. Heavy hatchling. So fat. <laughs> I 
Wait a second, I think you might have chosen the same years as me. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Burb. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, easy there, tiger. <laughs> Might as well just enjoy the rolling way. Uh. The ambience is beautiful. Ooh, shiny. Can't wait to get gear like that because <laughs> Blue Mage starting gear is a little bit gaudy for my taste. I mean, it was kind of cool at first to me, but is eh, then I just like kind of I'm like, well, it, it's not really suited for me. It doesn't. The color doesn't suit me all that much. I tend to go for like reds and blacks because it tends to because it fits me a little bit better. But uh. I think maybe I just need to like find the right combination with blue for a blue mage outfit. Oh. Uh. Um. Well, eh. I can't use rays yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. Um, yeah, I know, for the memes. Well, there is another thing I can do for you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess I won't be doing it. <laughs> it's gonna damp dance the top of your corpse. <laughs> I need to slot the step dance because that's my my favorite one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you wanna you know what what I did to Pixel? What? Oh, when. When he he did he did that in front of me, I danced atop his corpse. <laughs> After staring for like a minute, <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Yeah, you you get those squats in. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, you just remind me. I need to. Oh wait, I already slotted Blue Mage. As you can tell, I still have it. <laughs> I need to get rid of those. Just I just have it at level fourteen. Oh, we got one minute. Usually, I I put the I think I already said this before, but just a reminder. I usually set the timer to where it's like I so it sets off like 10 minutes before the actual ocean fishing starts so you have like sufficient preparation that's 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 how i usually like to do it and so far it's been good for me <laughs> 156 
It's been three hours and 17 minutes. I'ma head over to Limza. Just like start heading there. Nice outfit for a blue mage, by the way. I really like the texture on it. <laughs> How'd you acquire it? I uh, shut up, timer. <laughs> Is that like a uh, Wonder Woman? I think that's what they're trying to go for. The Mirage set. Level 60. Blue job gear. I see, I see. Wonder Roman. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to the wrong direction. What am I doing? <laughs> cool cosplay. Gotta give credit to that person. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I remember when I was doing a Praetorium run, I ran into this person, who, uh, this ninja, and they were cosplaying as Melina. Very good cosplay, if I say so myself. Like, they, they nailed it with that. Mirage says level 70 blue job armor. Got you. Okay. <laughs> Either way, it's an upper level for me. Do appreciate the clarification, because... Well... <laughs> this is nice, Vanille. conversations about pineapple and pizza it's not about whether it should or shouldn't be on it it's just uh like how pineapple should be cooked with the pizza <laughs> honestly i never had hawaiian pizza so i i don't really have an opinion on it i just don't have one i don't know if i ever wanted to try one at one point I mean, maybe if I'm feeling adventurous one day and I just happen to find Hawaiian pizza. Maybe. But I, I don't think I expect too much out of it. What I can tell you, though, is that I do love breakfast pizza. You know, uh, like instead of like having like just like traditional sauce and cheese. I I've known... I learned that there can be breakfast pizza out there that you use egg and cheese. On it's like on a on a slice of <laughs> of goodness. It's so delicious. And this bowling alley that's uh, not far from my house has it. I wonder if they still do. It's been a few years since I've been in there. But I love egg breakfast pizza. I don't need any bacon bits to make it better. I don't need any sausage bits. Just egg breakfast pizza. Casey's breakfast pizza is a highlight of your morning? When you went to community college. Dude, that sounds like such a nice breakfast. Seriously. I remember, uh, studying a semester at a university, and they had a cafeteria, as well as Subway. 
which was in another building. They also had some other things too. Sausage breakfast pizza with a jug of chocolate milk. And you're set to lunch. That does sound very filling. I don't really go for sausage though. I'm not huge on it unless it's like kielbasa. Which I, I just call kielbasa because why not? <laughs> That's how I always called it ever since a kid. It's how my mom always called it too, so. Oh well. <laughs> But that's like the only kind of sausage I actually like. Because I remember one time my mom accidentally bought like some other kind of sausage and I hated it. <laughs> that's how I found out I didn't really like sausage. <laughs> I, I think maybe it's just like... I, my only issue with like most sausage is... It's just the taste. What are they barking about? Yeah, it, it, my issue with most sausage is just the taste. I, I don't really mind the texture too much. Shiba, please stop. The one you're probably he uh, hearing barking is, is Shiba, which is my primary and husky mix. She barks at any noise, barks at any noise that happens outside, whether it be a car, a person, or if someone gets home. <laughs> I have two dogs. That, uh, actually, it sounds like someone did get home. Wait, it's 4.56, so... Yeah, my mom should be home. It's just the husky part, maybe. <laughs> she does do a little husky talk sometimes. Especially when my mom gets home, she's like, <laughs> and and the other dog I have is a Morky, which is a Maltese Yorkie mix. She is a very happy and spunky dog. Hello. Just for for warning, not muted. <laughs> Okay, we can get Shiva. Shut up! So far, they've been behaved for me. Uh, Sophie basically slept the day away on my on my bed. <laughs> yeah, Sophie's the Sophie's the Morky and Shiva's the Pomsky. <laughs> uh. Sometimes it can get pretty noisy. The family only had a, a lab. Every single one has been the bestest boy. That sounds nice. It's so adorable. I, I've never had a, a medium or big sized dog ever in my house. It's just my family can't really uh, deal with one, if that makes any sense. Like, we can't. Uh, we can't always be there to pro provide m multiple walks for, like, you know, bigger dogs because pretty much everyone in the house works. I'm going to be getting a second job here soon. I'm going to be starting my first one in April. <laughs> so it, we're, we're all going in and out at some point. A and plus... I don't know, I just don't want to hear big dog barks in my house. Because big dogs can be a lot louder than what you're hearing. A lab Rottweiler mix. In interesting. Easily best guard dog ever. I mean, I trust it. That I mean, that mix does sound pretty good for, like, you know, guard dog purposes. <laughs> Everyone's saying fish, fish. Why? Why are you doing this to us? If you saw we trusted you, you were good. 
We weren't around for that initial introduction, though. Oh, I see. See, it's like stranger bad hiss. Except it's more bork, bork, bork. Log chains? Wait, aren't those like heavy duty chains or something? Uh, I don't know about too. No, I don't know too much about chains. Log chains. Wait, dog chains? Log chain? What? Huh? <laughs> I feel, am I confusing myself or is that just a typo? I don't know. <gasps> Anyways, fishing. Yes, I would like the board. Yes. Try a dog chain, but he broke them too easily. Oh yeah, that's like a strong dog right there. I wouldn't be surprised. Plus, it's like combining, like, I think medium or large dogs, too. That's impressive, but also slightly concerning. <laughs> I'll say that, like, being able to break through, like, e even, like, maybe, like, heavier chains. Did you manage to find the the right chain? Um, I guess I'll take the spot this time. Uh, let's see. They said they they said krill. So I'ma toss a krill into the ocean. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Jellyfish or crabs. And I got a Lenotian jelly right off the bat. Nice. But the question is, will my luck keep up? See, the voyage missions. Catch jellyfish or crabs. Catch fish rated 3 stars or higher. Catch fish with a weak bite. 34. 7, 5, 34 respectively. Ooh, that one was almost immediate. It might be a jelly or... Yep, it's a jelly. Woo! Unfortunately, no. Oh, got out one day, didn't see him for a week. He was showing early signs of rabies? Oh no! Dude, something had to gotten to him during that week. I'm guessing there wasn't much you could do about it. That's incredibly unfortunate. Come on, fish. Come to Noctadron. Cool barracuda. Give me a bigger fish. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Memora Mora. Uh, someone got a spec, but no pop. Bad. I feel that, because I've gotten spectrals before and, and just didn't proc anything.
Man. Stupid sunfly, go away. You're pretty, but go away. <laughs> <laughs> Love the nap a lot. Sounds like one big sleepy boy. I hope he got his exercise. <laughs> Cause I know. Cause I know just like staying in one spot isn't necessarily good for anybody. Be it dog or man. A marine bomb. Had a runner lead to run up and down on. <laughs> Woo, another jellyfish. I should probably move this to where you guys can see it. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. <laughs> Sunfly, now! <laughs> give me jellyfish or give me death. You and the cat liked him. Dude, that's a, that's a huge one. Like when your other pets like your other pets. I think my favorite pet right now has to be my rabbit I have. He, uh, the rabbit we have right now is a rescue, actually. Uh, my sister found him just running about in the neighborhood. And, um, at the time, I think her then-boyfriend or, or friend wanted to, to sell him. But, you know... She insisted and shoved, I think, like, 20 bucks or something in their face. And I, I think I recall her telling the story, and she, and she sounded upset in her story. But yes, he, he's such a good rabbit. The cuddliest rabbit I have ever seen in my life. You will not find a cuddlier rabbit. <laughs> his name is his name is Scotch because uh, you know because butterscotch and it refers to his fur as color. And at the time, uh, my neighbor from two doors down had had a rabbit named Butterscotch, and he didn't really <laughs> want to can have the name confused with that with that rabbit that was over there. You only have problems with hostile critters? That's fair, honestly. Cuddly critters are very valid, yes. Yeah, if you ever walk up to his hutch, he will, le he will legit get very happy and maybe even p push his nose through the bars just to get pet. And if you open the door and, and you pet him, he he he'll just like, he'll shove his face into your hand. And you'll just sit there and enjoy the, the, the pets. He might even give you a, lo a little love nibble, nibble or, or, a, or a love lick. <laughs> Aw, poor Larry. I've been abused in a short time with a prior owner before being rescued. That's so sad. Honestly, I hate it when that happens, like... Our best boys do not need to be abused. Like, there are better ways to get your anger out. Seriously. 
Don't take it out on a dog. <laughs> Willow is very your cat. Yeah, cats tend to do that a lot, huh? Like, they have, like, their person that they really like. Very shy and reclusive at first, yeah. As any abused animal generally would be, like, they would be, like, shy or, or defensive. Seriously, the fish got away? I'm glad, I'm glad Larry managed to find his, his peace of mind. Lucky, your cattle... <laughs> the worst thing you do typically is just like scoop her up, Dreadwing, like while she's asleep. <laughs> You're lucky she likes you. I got a spectral, but no proc. Bah. Oh, is she happy, Chirp? That's adorable. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever have a cat, to be honest. I don't know if one will ever choose me. We just tend to have, like, dogs in the house. I don't know if I'd want to deal with the litter box, though. Is it possible to train a cat to go outside, though? You realize that all the animal stories you have, aside from the current doggo, are kind of sad? Well, it happens. It's part of life, to be honest. And you're gonna be having your best of moments with them, and you're also gonna have, you know, moments that either, you know, scare you to death or make you wanna cry. I remember the the first dog I ever had, which was when I was little. Uh, it was a Japanese Spitz called Princess. Uh. The older she got, I mean, at one point she, she, she was getting like heart failure and just. My family had to take her to the vet eventually to get her put down because, you know, she, she just wasn't doing well at that point in her life, her late life. Are you kidding me? That's a second spectral. Nothing else. But yeah. She was reaching towards the end of her lifespan, and she was having, like, that heart failure stuff. And she was just getting progressively worse, couldn't get up or down the, the stairs to, you know, to go outside to use the restroom. She was laying around a lot in the hallway. But during her earlier part of her lifespan, she at the very least was a very happy doggle. Old age decided to be cruel to him. Oh. Current doggo's just stupid. Oh no. Still hits his head on the table that's been present every day of his life? Oh no. I wouldn't be surprised if that dog dies due to brain damage. <laughs> no, funnily enough, that, that reminds me when Sheba was a puppy. Uh, one time she was like downstairs and she she had the, like complete zoomies run around all over the place. Just so excited and energetic. And then the next thing I know 
like right in front of me she she slides head first straight into the coffee table <laughs> that had the lamp on it she's she's okay but it was kind of it's kind of funny happy trips from cats are so moving yes they are they're absolutely adorable Oh, my my uh, spirit bomb of copper earrings is long. Cool. You know, I would have my rabbit here sing in my lap more often if it weren't for the fact that he needs a diaper. Because <laughs> I can't trust him to not pee on me if given enough time. Oh, shame I realized my... I have nine angler's arts. Oh well, I'll just use it in the next stop. The happy meows when you get home are your favorite? Honestly, I think seeing your, your pet just like run for you is just like... It really helps get rid of like... At least some of the stress from your, your day. <laughs> it doesn't go full born and hang his head. Just lifts his head up and from sniffing the floor and then thunk. <laughs> even, even his face is like drats. <laughs> I did it again. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I know this is like an odd question, but are there like rapid sized diapers out there? Uh, rag room for s spectral. Wait, no, 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 no. I didn't want to click that button. No. Rag room. Thank you. Probably. <laughs> yeah, true. There are ones for burbs. So that way, you know, they don't just like poop on your shoulder. Oh, wow. That's, that's very early spectral current. That is very early. It's like... Six minutes and like 15 seconds in, I got that. Okay. Let's use some of the angler's uh, fortune patience stuff. <laughs> yeah. I will say though, I think between the two dogs I have, Sophie is the less intelligent one. She, she's she's not like completely stupid either but <laughs> she's done some silly things she was she was actually uh very intelligent very opportun opportunistic if I'll, given the chance and I, i'd say like majority of the time she understands what you're saying Ask her what- ask her to go get her ball, she'll get her ball, or... Or like, if she- if she wants something, she motions her eyes towards that thing. I'm tr trying to think of other things that she does. She's- a, she's also pawed me before for something. There's there's a whole bunch of things that I'm probably not remembering right now that she's she's done before. 
But if you spend enough time with her, you, you can tell. And she applies that intelligence to whatever she wants. <laughs> I'd say Sheba and Princess are like the two most intelligent dogs we've ever had. No jellies? It's a shame. There's that unknown fish around here, but I haven't figured out how to catch that one. Like when you have Fisher's intuition. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, give me more quab. Do the quab wave. Do 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 do. A toss dagger. What am I going to get from this mooching opportunity? Of course, you're armed and ready with the crab's tread wing. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait, to the surface? Wait, 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 wait. It's a glimpse of Ruby. Uh... But what... What do I use? I, I don't know what to use for the intuition. I don't know, I'm just gonna take a guess. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I got a net crawler. Just need one more quab. It's 11 point fish can die. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Blowfish, go away. I was one away from finishing an objective and three away from finishing another one. <laughs> so much fish, though. So much fish, I know. Not my best performance, but whatever. 
I'm here for the mog tomes. <laughs> Alright, um, 30. I'm gonna set my timer. You see a character named Sifa Belmont? Wait, where? What? Eh? Oh. Maybe where you are. <laughs> Someone's a fan of Castlevania. <laughs> Alright, got the timer set. I'm gonna do my daily fish turning and repairing. Here, have this and that and that. Have all of it. Also, I'm gonna get rid of these while I'm at it. I'm, I like never use them. Tasty flow fish are. Yeah, I got you. T uh, I almost called you Timmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Wait, are you Jimmy Turner? Your uh, Timmy's brother? <laughs> That's probably the stupidest joke I've ever made, but who cares? Okay. I didn't think. Oh yeah, I'm still doing the... <gasps> Wait a second. It's dark outside. Costa del Sol! I'm gonna I'm make my beeline over there before it's too late. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. You have in game four minutes and it's gone. What? Wait, is it a good time to be doing this? I don't know if it is. It looks like it is. Swim faster! It's 6 a.m. Eorzea time. And it's got. Ha! Ah. No! <laughs> but how do I see what's like the Eorzea time and not. and not my time? Left click the clock on the top right. Server time, 10.28 p.m. Eorzea time, 6.30 a.m. I see. Well, boo. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't ever get here in time, ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for helping me change the clock. ET is what fishing and time nodes go off of, I see. 
Maybe I want to do a praetorium on this. Eh, I'll go with my try and true black meech. Ooh, healers needed in leveling. And I get seals out of it? I'm not level 16, I'm one level away. That sucks. <laughs> oh well. Hey, I need to add Cutter's Cry into the mix. Oh wait. All my selections just... Okay. I'm going to try queuing for all of these just so I have a better chance of getting into something. Meantime, I could check out what's going on in the gold saucer. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to go to Ribbon's Toll. <laughs> I seriously need to set my home point back to Old Da. Because that's where I, I always end up doing stuff anyways. But there's no point. I'll just have to run back to Custa del Sol when it hits nighttime. What was it like? Should I be there like 8 o'clock Eorzea time? I don't know how late I have to be there for the full moon f fish thing. <laughs> I'm guessing that's higher level red mage gear. I don't know. There's a gatekeeper. Leap of Faith at 5.40. That's in 8 minutes. 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. I see. Okay. Duly noted. Thank you. It's at 5.40. That's seven minutes from now. <laughs> You'll power through your crafter job quest? Fair enough. Speaking of which, I've actually... Uh, I've been working on my goldsmith a good bit lately. Just so I can get leveled... Mega's reason being Stardust Rod. <laughs> because the way I have to do it is I have to do it through blood, sweat, and tears. Get my crafters up so I can get so I can get to the materials I need. Thank <laughs> you. All of yours is like seventy two plus and or still have my first, etc. Hmm. 
That's funny. Yeah, fun fact, I haven't even started... I haven't even unlocked Botanist. I haven't. <laughs> I need to go unlock it, to be honest. If I'm not mistaken, I think, like, what, the ingredients from Botanist could connect to either, like, Culinarian or Alchemist or something like that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe even Weaver, because I know that some stuff like hay could be involved. Or hats. I realize if I'm going to be like streaming for like longer periods of time, I'm going to have to adjust the timers on those things so it's not so... Abrasive. Culinarian Alchemist Weaver Carpenter. Oh, I managed to name three out four. Cool. <laughs> Struggles of a DPS main. It takes forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna sink into my chair. Oh, hey, look at that! Praetorium. All it took was me complaining a little. <laughs> those are four you can remember the botanist effects. Cool. All of those ones make sense. Because ingredients can be found in nature, fibers can be found in nature for like, you know, weaving stuff. Things in nature <laughs> can be used as ingredients in alchemy stuff. Carpenter, well, you're taking from nature so I'm not surprised if Carpenter needs some of it. I don't know what specifically though. The one constant complaint about Q makes it pop. <laughs> I mean, it worked this time. No, I ain't complaining. Well, anymore. <laughs> I should ask my mom if we have popcorn in the house. <laughs> We're gonna have to be sitting through these cutscenes. Pretty epic looking sage portrait. Ah, uh, yes, let's just drag ads all over the place. Die. Once I get the chance, though, I'm gonna ask my mom if we have popcorn. Or at least get a snack. Yay, Thundercloud! Die, you hooligans! To my fiery flames! Oh, I love being a black mage main. It makes me so happy to blast things. <laughs> I love doing it! <laughs> Yeah, when I found out Cider Spider's uh, actually a black mage main, I, I celebrated. Because I, I remember like that one time he mentioned it in the video. Like, you know when he was doing the PvP stuff, like the alliance, three-way alliance stuff? 
what, what is that? Like rival wings or whatever it's called? I, I don't know. Poor guy is struggling a lot, but uh. Then he hopped on Black Mage and actually got some kills. Which I am very happy for him about. I wonder if he. I wonder if he managed to finish all that stuff, because it looked really painful. He mains Black Mage for a PvP. Nice. Frontlines, which is a fun time. Oh, uh, oh, is that three-way alliance thing called frontlines? Or was it? Okay. <laughs> so I do remember correctly then. Good to know. Yeah, uh, to be honest. If I ever went for those achievements, I'd be losing my, my brain cells, too. I mean... <laughs> I honestly respect his de dedication so much. Such an inspiration. You know, to go after the things that I, I want to go after in this game. I mean, I may not be, like, hardcore achievement hunting like he is, but I'm definitely going to be going after the things that I want. Like, once I find out, uh, like, this cool thing, like, how I how to get it, I, I, will, I will try and pursue it, <laughs> if I can. And if there's, like, select achievements I want to go after, I'll try to go after those, too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna use... This as a quick bathroom break. Uh, where's the BRB words? There we go. I'm gonna be back. And enjoy the cutscene. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> oh no, I bumped my- I bumped my, um... I bumped my head cam, I'm sorry. <laughs> head cam, I mean... Webcam, that... My, my hands are still wet from me washing my hands, too. <laughs> oh no. Hey, at least I made it! I, I, I'm so, I can't take the BRB words off yet. I just kind of got thrown into it. <laughs> Staring into our souls with a BRB sign. <laughs> I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's the, I, this is, I think called a spread. Spread marker. Uh, 
I don't know. It's something that I don't want to... get caught in with other people. Move just a smidge. Oh, not the sword. Stay, keep that thing away from me. That's Wait for me. I love how the monk is named Mint Medic. <laughs> Wait, did you heal them by punching them to death? I love how when you click on the ground, it just doesn't immediately do it. Unless now, apparently. Sometimes it just doesn't do it. For some reason for me. By the way, I just asked my mom. If we have popcorn in the house and bed. That we should have some downstairs. Hey, let's go. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna run downstairs and see if I got popcorn downstairs. Shut up, Siri. I don't know how Siri got activated. Bruh. Ran downstairs and got the thing. <laughs> by the time this, this <laughs> by the time the cutscene finished. Woo! Now we get to go through a near speech and I get to put popcorn in the uh Microwave. I'm legit gonna do it.
Yeah, but... For some reason, Kiba just loves to bark at me every time I get up or make a sound. He's relentless. Also, where did my... wrist rest go? Need that! Where is it? Oh, Neveria Raid! Hi, one second, guys. Oh, I'm a mess. Hi. <laughs> you, you can go ahead and shout yourself out, Neveria. <laughs> Don't get myself together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, guys. Welcome in. <laughs> We're in the middle of a Praetorium run right now. And per usual, even when off stream, I am. It. How am I doing? Going after these Mog Tomes for the event a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Winter. Appreciate it. But yeah, I've been doing this since like roughly one twenty one in the afternoon. Yes, go follow Niv. He's a cool dude. Very nice and he does lots of puzzle stuffs. He's also done some uh civilization stuff, like you know, Sid Myers. I think he finished... Uh, finished an entire game in like, what, three hours he said? Fire starter. And fire three. Alright, who's... I, I got the... I got... I got the claw. I got the- <laughs> my voice just cracked. I got the claw! Okay. Alright, any second now, he should be... I'll just shift over here. I'll use my sure cast next time he does that. Ow. Hee hee hee, the one time I get to not move. Ha 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 ha! Actually, I think we might kill him before he even manages to get to that. Also, I need to reapply my thunder. After I kill this thing. Watch out! I've gotta be kidding me, this poor medic. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> when you have a monk and a black mage, everything just dies so fast. Dude, I can't take those- uh, that monk's- <laughs> I can't take that monk's fighting gloves seriously. I mean, look at him. <laughs> oh, 
Ha ha ha! Ultima Whoopin is activated and brims with the power of Echons! <laughs> uh, Nero. We know that. Yeah, you got your butt kicked by us. Ooh! Our monk's a very cool looking femoral. I respect that. Ah, I got tea on my nose. <laughs> I tried swirling my cup and then it just sploosh of it just got on my nose. Book. I'm good though. <laughs> Okay, this is my cue to get the popcorn from the microwave. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, tell us how terrible we are. <laughs> yeah, well, somehow I'm enjoying this cutscene more by treating it like a. <laughs> Yes, why else would I fight for it? I know, right? You know, if I were in my character's place, I'd be saying, Who do you think I'm fighting for, doofus? <laughs> Also, in the party chat, so someone said it's not the same without how very glib. What does that mean? Was that like a line he said or something? Yeah, you you playing some Mortal Kombat, Jimmy? <laughs> Some delicious popcorn. I haven't had it in so long. Why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? The answer Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. Oh, I see. It's like the old version. Let's 
the old version generally better? Guys, his voice actor's reigns from all of that makes much more sense now. Actually, I can kind of hear a little bit of a resemblance. Just a little bit. Hold on, guys. Talk slower. I'm really enjoying this popcorn. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't want to eat too fast to the point where I was choking on it. my way <laughs> I have to move I think it's about time to reapply that thunder since there's like 10 seconds left on it. Yay, I didn't get hit this time. <laughs> Wait, nah, let's not do another thing of thunder. Now we do it because it's thunder cloud. Uh. I got a kernel stuck in the side of my mouth. It's bugging me right now, but I use both hands. <laughs> to improve my rotation just a smidge. I'm gonna go this way. Wait, they're going for... Wait, which one are we going for? Wait, uh, d uh, Ah, well. Oh, well. Managed to get the kernel. <laughs> Let's go. You get it. Oh, commendation. Nice. Oh, in time for a leap of faith. Alright. 
Time to lose brains. Uh, oh, it's actually not. It's actually the sort of nice one. <laughs> I'll be losing slightly less brain cells. Good. I see, Jimmy. I just appreciate getting a little recognition because I'll be honest, I'm usually not super confident in myself. I'm always trying to improve that. <laughs> so it's just Nice when I get one. Nice to me when I get one. Yeah. that jump. Bah! Usually it's the second one that causes me issues. Well, I mean third. I wish I did not <laughs> provide a self-fulfilling prophecy for myself. Yeah, I know. Cry. Oh, I just barely got that. Yay. Okay. We'll jump because I do not trust that little platform in between. Forget it. Uh, I wasn't confident enough in my jump. Ugh. At least I got the silver. And I have plenty of time. I just watched that. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and focus a little bit. You know what? Shut up, Niv. <laughs> Silver at. I don't know. I'll find out after I finish. There we go. Okay, let's try not to botch these jumps. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been losing my touch so much lately. There it is. I missed it.
Yeah, this is why... You see that, you know that jump, try, uh, failed jump for the gold? That's specifically why I go for the finish line first. I'll try to get the gold after. Just in case I fail. It's just long enough for the embarrassment to set in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not like an instant restart. Uh, like in Celeste, if you like, you fail, like you die, it, it just starts back up immediately. So like the sting of defeat doesn't hurt as much. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yes, I want it. Let me have it. Yes. <laughs> I did it. Thank you, Noob. <laughs> All right, let's get our butts out of here. Four regular tombstones of Genesis 1. Oh yeah, I noticed that there's supposed to be like a second hunt or something. Collection. Yeah, first hunt underway, second hunt pending. I have 172 right now. You know why I can't do week four? Take a look at this. <laughs> Man, oh, all right, right night sharding. Thank you for a monitor. <laughs> With my ADHD, I would have, I would have completely forgotten about that. So thank you. I'll teleport there immediately. You can always flex your lambs whenever, my dude. <laughs> I mind pictures. to get 10 full moon sardines. All right, and we're almost there. Sp 
spoon worm. I genuinely hope I get my sardines. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's dinner time. I should get myself something. <laughs> A blowfish? Okay. Go eat nom nom. After fish. Because this is timed. Another blowfish? I'm gonna change spots. Oh, I guess this store does. It lets me. Nope. <laughs> Brain coral. Excuse me. Let's see, thirty-five twenty-nine. What you say. okay? Along the shore. Roughly this side. Okay. This is as good as I'm gonna get. All right, how about it? A leafy sea dragon. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Thank you. 
Where are these stinking sardines? What bay are you using? I think I recall them saying spoonworms, right? Or do I need to use something else? I can't remember. <laughs> Yes, I figure it's the correct bait. I'm guessing I'm just getting unlucky. Might be that. Why is my burp drowning itself? Eh, as long as it's fine. <laughs> Even the burp feels the pain, I know. I should have gotten more spoon worms. <laughs> I'm catching everything but what I need. And I've got to catch 10 of these. At least I know the spot now. If anything. Once I'm run out of bait though, I'm gonna have to beeline towards the supplier in Limsa. Stop giving me sea leafy sea dragons! Try to go to Y29. This is the closest I can get to Y29. It's like 28.7. Good, good enough, I guess. Because <laughs> one step more, and I'll just end up in the ocean trying to get to Y29. Another goby? Ah. I'm just getting the common ones repeatedly.
32, 34. It has to be along the shore. So right about there. Okay, <laughs> moving spots again. Why does he keep telling me that one of my client setting files is failed to save? It's very. That is a giant crab. Three, two, three, four. So it likes to like move all over the place with its spots. Ugh, that'll be extremely annoying. Finally, we got one. But I don't have enough to get ten. <laughs> Yay! We finally solved it. Little jerk's been hiding over here. Another one. We'll get as many as we can, and then just come back here. Do I have versatile lore? Oh, uh... No, I don't think. <laughs> I really shouldn't have gotten rid of it, huh? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, yes, an infinite you spade. Please tell me the sardines didn't move again. Okay. Well, I'll just have to swing by Limza after I use up this last one. And also make sure that I <laughs> I, I buy first tell lures. Okay, good night, Niv. Ooh, coral. Ooh, it's pretty. And Salamenza. The nineteen minutes and fifty four seconds. I gotta book it. Man. There you are. No, I don't want to. Not that person. Items.
Let's not try to sell the full moon sardine. Uh, we'll... Spoon worm, there it is. There it is. Wait, I need to go. I'll check the other vendor. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Move faster! Okay, you do have some versatile lures. And teleport back to Costa del Sol. Come on. <laughs> I've never been so pressed for time. Uh, remember the spot. Chocobo, carry me! To victory. Where am I even going? Oh, just wait, huh? What? Why do I get the feeling that it's like... Is I got one of these rocks? I think it was this one. Level 50 fish request requires a f specific fish? Oh boy. <laughs> Time and weather? Oh, dude, that's annoying. I think it's even more annoying than trying to evolve a Sligu in Pokemon Violet. Come on, fish. Fish, come on. Please. A four hour time span? That's so short. No! You can forget it, I ain't doing a mooching opportunity on that sardine. I need every single one I can get. I'm trying my best to throw in chum so the process is faster. Hey. 
Okay, we're halfway to there. Yeesh. I'm trying to fish as fast as I can, and I really hope it works. <laughs> I need a sardine, not a seahorse. Well, I got the seven. Okay. I'll just have to move the full moon sardines to back there so I don't accidentally sell it when I'm trying to get rid of the fish in my inventory. Other way. This way. <laughs> I'm not directionally challenged, I promise. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the unfortunate victim I unload all my fish onto. Not selling that. Oh, you misremembered. The big fish is a, a double mooch. Oh. I see. bit scared to like peel up his tank for like level 15 stuff like guild us because I've never played tank before <laughs> I mean I generally know how it functions oh she looks pretty <laughs> but uh um I've never put it into practice with like a team of living breathing people <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Oh yes, yeah, gold saucer. Got eight minutes left on the clock. I'm gonna have to be fast about it. Call the novice for them? No, actually, I haven't. I think that would be good to give me a confidence booster, actually. Like, you know, I've, I've done some of the Gladiator requests, so I, I've got, like, basic grasp. But I haven't done Hall of Novice for it yet. It's a good idea. <laughs> I've got a fun question in mind. Like, if you never end up choosing Ellison, what would you have ended up as? Things it teaches aren't useful anymore. But, it, oh, I see. It gives a good level 15 gear set? That's, that's actually... Yes. <laughs> Ah, oh, there is a gate happening. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. New. Ah, it's more leap of faith. I love this. Probably Fem here. I say for me, I think it maybe Hrothgar were here. Ah, lovely forest. I'm bound to fall on that on this map a few times. Uh, I just really hope it's not the very extra sucky variation. I mean they all suck, but there's an extra sucky one amongst them. Okay. Prices are varied on pain cones. I hate having to go up and down this branch just for a stinking cactuar. <laughs> I just saw that person fail in front of me and I feel bad for him. <sighs> you tried making a Tifa clone. Interesting. Wait. No! Send me back! Ah! I'll just have to get to the end as fast as I can and then reset. And I failed the first jump. Good job, Arashi.
Okay. Oh, come on. I barely got onto that. I can't believe I'm legit trying to speed run this right now. Make sure I grab that one. Ugh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna get the bronze cactus I missed. Always just miss it. to see you my dude first time chatter here nice oh <laughs> uh, what's up right now i am suffering from parkour also the worst version do force is quite loathsome for basically all players But I will admit, it has made me better at this forsaken parkour. Oh yeah, what's the fun fact? <laughs> I hate this so much. Death. It's leap of faith at 20 minutes till the next hour. It's this map. <laughs> I see. Ah! <laughs> 10 seconds left on the clock for my timer. Dude, it can't be coming. This, this guy right here has been here for the past day or so. <laughs> Just standing here. Lean cause of dry skin is towels? <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, yes. 540, 640, etc. Ah, good to know. But, um, well, at least I can supposedly mentally prepare myself for suffering. <laughs> okay, Limsa Luminsa. Dude, because of this uh, Moogle hunt event thing, 
I've been in Limza so much. I don't care to be here. It's full of weirdos. <laughs> I mean, at least you find some cool-looking people, too, though. But it's it's not completely bad. I, I just... I, I just generally... don't like super crowded areas. Just social anxiety stuff. But I, I can put up with it, because... I just stay in my own lane and just do my own thing and just focus on that i suppose i do what i want people won't pay me any mind besides there are weirder people here <laughs> i'm just a very stylish elizon <laughs> which is not outside the norm here except for the elizon part maybe I better change my bait over to, uh, I don't know, one of the three that's used for o ocean fishing trips. You know, whenever I see a Vera, I I've seen, like, huge ears and tiny ears. But if I ever create a Vera, Vera I think I'd, I'd like the, the, sh the shorter ears. Did you know that the entirety of the Elizin race that reached Endgame is 1.9% of the total Endgame population? No, I did not, but that sounds very small. <laughs> Female Makote is 20%? My dude. That's a lot. I quite like the green. Endgame Ellison is a recite. Ooh, we're shiny Pokemon. Wait a second. I think I think Nano or Pixel, like either of them have at one point said I am basically a shiny Pokemon. No, 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 they said it like my first day in this game. I, or second day, one of the two. But I remember. Yeah, <laughs> we basically are. Oh, someone died on the floor. That's kind of sad, oh well. Yeah, I, I I heard that Duskwits are the rare of the Elizans. So I'm shiny squared. Oh, I feel special. <laughs> you makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I mean, I don't make it my whole identity or anything, but... <laughs> I do take pride in having a niche. <laughs> yeah, I might as well embrace the jokes. We have accepted Pete and Ellison. I'm cool being Ellison. I'm cool with it. I'm not used to being called a giraffe, but I can see where it's coming from. <laughs> I'm like, it feels a little weird to be called a giraffe, but you know what? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Why am I being like called a giraffe? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like their unique feature, I suppose, besides the pointy ears and lanky legs. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You really aren't kidding. We are giraffes. The long legs. The long necks. <laughs> the only thing we're missing are spots. You know, it's kind of sad. When I joined this game for the first time, I just missed the Fall Guys event. <laughs> freckles? <laughs> I've got to be kidding me. I haven't thought about the freckles. Okay, cat boy, please stop. You're assaulting my ears and it's bothering me. I feel like I'm being overstimulated by it a little bit. <sighs> Another thing I've never bothered mentioning is the fact that I might be on the spectrum. Uh, an interesting development with my therapist, uh, both with my first one. Yeah, I'm new, new. <laughs> oh yeah, what was I saying again? Uh, yeah. Uh, both my uh, previous therapist and my current one both think that I might be like high functioning, like on, on the spectrum. So, my from my last appointment that I've had with my current therapist, where uh, she said she's gonna try and find some place that tests adults since most do kids you know just uh just to get it like a diagnosis because for now i i've got confirmed diagnosed adhd and anxiety disorder Ooh, fun time huh But I think I think the testing will definitely help get uh, get some answers for me and just generally like help me understand myself better. And it would help me get like accommodations in workplaces and stuff, maybe even benefits. I just I just really ho I'm really hopeful that uh, some good developments happen. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. <laughs> I don't go advertising it every day, though. Oh, hey, we're starting. Yeah, just combined ADHD, social anxiety. <laughs> Maybe on the spectrum. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, off topic. But you see, you see this, uh, this picture right over here that covers my chat because people are weirdos. I made that artwork myself. <laughs> it's also uh, my current profile picture on Discord. <laughs> Actually, the background on that picture, I, I just decided to like mess with a brush. I, I kept the the white background on and then I went over with like a, a black brush of some kind and it created that effect and I thought it was so cool. And I kind of wanted to try my hand at like neon uh, sort of style artwork and I think it turned out not too bad. Krill for spec? I'm already equipped with Krill. Let's go. But anyways, back to the Fall Guys thing. 
I think it was like mere days that I missed it by. Like it, it was like probably like just finishing up or it just ended like when I when I started the game. That's what I can say. I would have liked that hoodie. <laughs> Would have been, you know, just nice to have. What? The spectral is already happening. Uh. Oh. Uh. Gotta be kidding me. I mean, I didn't complain. You kidding me? We also have dolphins. What? It's just the first stop, and it's already going crazy. <laughs> Let's go. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, time to use some of my angler's art. After I use some patience. Give me fish or give me death. Of snagging helps, but I always put it on during these trips just in case. Took a week to learn crafters and then you went back on the MSQ grind. I see. You missed the end of the event by four days? Ouch. I feel you there. <laughs> But hey, on the bright side, I didn't miss the Ryunosuke event, you know, the one with the dragons. So I can safely say that, like, one of the first... ...event things I've ever gotten as a newbie is Ryunosuke. The little burb... ...costumed minion. Yeah, you did say that you could have gotten it first time around. You always kept a buffer of 200k? Oh, that's right! You just reminded me. I am fighting for those MGP Platinum cars for more than one reason. Thank you for reminding me because I almost forgot about reading about that. When reading up on the Final Fantasy XV events. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, baby, it's a triple. Give me shark. Yeah, let's go. Two more to go. <laughs> but that car will be mine. Yes, go for gold, my dude. I'll try to get it too. I like to I like co to collect things like mounts and minions and cards. Just generally anything, like, collectible like that. And, and if there's, like, cool glam that I like, I'll, I'll go for it too. I'm that type of hunter. <laughs> I love my cosmetics a lot. Like, in any game I'm in. One more shark to go. Come on, we can do it.
Come on. Yeah, I'll take I'll take a week by it's for one of the voyage missions. But I really need a shork. Another thing on my mind, I did try saying hi in Insider's Discord, but I... <laughs> no one ever said hi back. Ugh. It was always the first day I joined too, like I worked up the courage to say it. You know, I hope I can make some friends in there and be able to integrate more. Uh, more with the community, because uh, at least from like a first per uh, impression perspective, it seems pretty nice. Come on, let me have it already! I've got five seconds left! Yes! <laughs> Tarnish Shark at the last second! Oh, so, yeah, Jimmy, I. When I, I, I know I've said it already multiple times, but I seriously cannot thank you enough for swinging by to say hi. <laughs> you and uh, a couple others. I don't remember, there's like somebody else. Ah. I, I'll get, I, I'll, I'll remember those names in time. But I'd say, aside from Cider himself, you're like, basically my first reaction with the, with the community, essentially. And it makes me happy. <laughs> oh, it's Johnny, yeah. Craig? Wow, there really are a lot of creators out there. If you happen to be in the Discord, feel free to recommend, uh, to send me some links to them. And I'll, I'll check them out on my own time. Oh, we got a gold storm. Nice. Large sized fish. Patience. Cast. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know I'm not alone. It, it really helps me feel calmer in social situations knowing that, you know, there's common ground to be had with some people. Oh, they should be like streaming in an hour or two. I see. Well, I, I think I can stream for just a, um, just a smidge longer. I don't want to stream too late out because I've been trying to curb my terrible sleeping habits. Because <laughs> I've been I've been up at, at night, up until like maybe like three a.m. playing this game. <laughs> So while it's a good outlet, I don't want it to become uh, detrimental my, to my health. Yeah, I do also need to eat something proper. Thank you for a reminder. Actually, that touches me a bit. <laughs> yeah, you're giving me a good old, just like, you know, wellness check. It's good to know that people care for my health. <laughs> I mean, since it's late, I might go the lazy route and maybe get a TV dinner or some pizza rolls. <sighs> I'll find out what I want once I hit the kitchen. 
Yeah, that's a that's another thing I've been, been trying to work on is eating better. Because uh, since you know December, depression has been kicking my butt, and I I, I will admit my weakness, my my my. Thing I do and as an emotional response is to shut down when I'm under duress or like extreme stress. So that includes like my my sleeping good as it goes out of whack. My eating it gets worse than it already is. <laughs> Some days I didn't end up eating at all. But you know what? I I'm I'm on the mend, so I, I'm definitely doing better than I have last time. I'm even keeping logs on on what I eat. Because, uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me, I got spectral and no current. Uh, my, my therapist recommended I keep a log and try to keep track of, you know, what I'm eating. And the general goal for me is to get at least two meals in a day. One at the very minimum if I somehow f fail to get that second one. So, I've got game plans in, in, in place. And, you know, despite my, my situation where, you know, some of my family's splitting, and, you know, that'll also put a strain on finances a little bit, it, I, I'm doing far better with my self-care than I have been in the past couple months. And I think I can celebrate that progress. Doing significantly better than yourself? Oh, the fish got away. Hey, we're we're all on different paths, Jimmy, so even though you know it's it's like it's like learning to crawl before learning to walk. So while, you know, I may be on that stage where I'm walking, you might be, yeah, you, know, you might be on that crawling stage, right? It takes time. And you, and, you know, you gotta give yourself some time. And to try being kind to yourself. <laughs> That's definitely advice, especially for myself. But it's also especially for anybody else who needs to hear that. I mean, hey, you, you made some supper, right? That's a small win. It's the little things. Always celebrate the little things in life. <laughs> Ooh, I got a mooch opportunity. You know, I'm actually kind of glad that I have the... Medical conditions that I have. It's given me... It's, it's given me a certain perspective on life. Seriously? I got intuition at the... <laughs> ah. Ah. A shadow evoking the Lord of War slithers across the ocean. Oh, yes. Well, I have to put up my rod. <laughs> Hearing that Lollafell reminds me of a, of a previous uh, Final Fantasy stream I had. And, and someone mentioned to me that they... Actually, I think it was... Yeah, it was it was in a prey run, I, I believe. And the you know, this this person was playing their girlfriend's uh Lollafell for them to help them out. Or or it was their wife, I think. And they mentioned how they enjoy Lollafells because it feels like you know, they're dressing up a toddler. <laughs> Oh, you have to fix suffer for because you're fixing it for an entire family. That's neat. Mm. 
Still, that's a that's that's that can be considered a win in your book, right? I got a spectral bass. And <laughs> no current. <laughs> it's okay though, it's actually it's large, so I get two hundred points. Oh yeah, I need to switch to rag, don't I? <laughs> the Dark Nautilus. Uh, I've got ten anglers, or I might as well use them since it's the last stop. Oh yeah, it's it's eight um, Eorzea time, so eight p.m. That means I can go back to that spot once this finishes up. Yay! Let's go. Oh, I got I got Oh come on, the fish got away. Boo. <laughs> uh. Oh, they they beat me to it. Someone was asking, how do you know when, when to use things and what to use things? And there's a, there's a fishing site uh, for Final Fantasy XIV, apparently. It's so useful, I tell you. Lamp fish. It looks kind of funny. <laughs> Taking quite some time. I might get a ferocious bite, maybe. <laughs> it got away again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Another weak bite, good, good. Time to go nuts with my angler's art since time's ticking down. Ah! 
The cheese sauce. Whoa. <laughs> it does make it sound a little more sophisticated. But hey. I mean, sometimes a dish isn't complete without a really good sauce, am I right? Lucky. I mean, we had an insanely good start, but, uh... <laughs> you too. Ooh, I didn't get much of any bonuses. Yikes. Oh well. Maybe one day I'll hit that 10k. I've only ever gotten close to it like twice. And both of the scores were like in the 9,000s. One was like mid 9,000. Roughly. It's homemade hamburger helper. Oh dude, hamburger helper's so good. I love that stuff. Okay. It's the time for the next ocean fishing. Okay, can I please stop clicking on cat girls on accident? Okay, hour and 24 minutes to... Okay. Now I think I'm set to go to Costa del Sol. Get the sardines, yes? Sir? Uh, y yes, Jimmy. <laughs> I know it's near the clubs. This is my specific rock. I think. Might be the other one. No, this one. It's this one. It's near cancer. <laughs> Spoonworm. Um, cast. Yay, a sardine. Pweb, pweb, pweb. I mean, I could go beat it up if I want to. But the sardines come first because it's limited. It's 
more limited than this. Besides, I've got time on this. Oh no. <gasps> Did you burn the cheese sauce? Do not fight the crab solo. <laughs> I mean, I've done it before, I think. Successfully. <laughs> Maybe I'm just crazy enough. <laughs> Not that one. Yeah, you're right. Maybe no. <laughs> I do remember it kicked my butt once. Yeah, it is a special fate. I've I've had to kill special fates before though, so although I am wary of it, I know it's not impossible. <laughs> I've had to do it for some marks. Those stack of bees. All right, time to go. We got our last sardine. Yeah, you know maybe I'll test that crab off stream to see if it's actually possible to solo. I, I know it's a special fate, so obviously it's going to be tough. But sometimes I like to test things. <laughs> I like the music at Costa del Sol, it's kind of nice. Something on. Should I say it yet? Yeah, yeah I, it's my stream. I can do whatever I want with it. I am trying to learn ninja. So if there's any advice on it, feel free to give any or point me to a person who knows. You can introduce me to something if you want. You gotta be kidding me. Why is there. Why is there a cat boy in bikini? Come on. I know it's limbs up, but come on, man. Don't be afraid to write down the mudra combos. Yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, what was I doing again? Fisherman's Guild. Right. I think. I play ninja beca uh, sometimes because I, I found Rogue very cool. <laughs> I love the whole quest line. But I'm through and through a black mage mean and I adore it class. I actually largely learned black mage on my own uh, compared to like videos. I mean, I, I am visual, but I'm also have, uh, hands-on, too. Yeah, so a combination of it uh, works for me. And I, I don't really go for videos all that much because I, I just rather be taught by, like, a person instead. It's just, I've always thrived off that like that specific type of human interaction because 
Me and online learning just don't agree. I, I learned out I learned that the hard way f uh, back in high school when I tried to do some online classes. I just I, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Friendly friend, Fishbringer, had made true toxic big dreams. Glory tales of Chuchuroon are no silly babble. Fishbringer is Fishbringer of fairy legends. Toctics make sure every gobby knows Fishbringer fairy legend. Um, <laughs> thank you for the praise. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Fishbringer. Fame with fast trading goblins is liable to bring you fortune. Although you might want to find a less pungent tile, so as to not drive away other prospective patrons. But what's in the title? That which we call a Fishbringer by any other name would smell as sweet. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Where were those spoonworms when I needed them? All right, let's get the next one done. Oh, what's the? Ah, uh, it's that. Goosey. <laughs> I've got the yawns. Let's see, honey worms. Your goblin friendly friend was looking for you earlier. He ha was hoping you'd make his fishiest fantasies come true. <laughs> you finished supper? A, hey, let's go. You recalled a dish that tickled his fancy some years ago and now needs you to procure the necessary fish for him. This desert catfish, as it apparently called, is indigenous to. And this is. The truly mind-boggling part. The desert, of all places. Oh, you mean the Sigoli Desert? Actually, I think I believe- I, I think I know which specific one- Like, specific, uh, creature they're talking about. It's like some sort of, like- I think it's called, like, a dune fish or something? It looks like an Aurobon. But, uh... M maybe a little sandier? <laughs> Toktik spoke of a trapper named- Ugormuli, who who'd fin it, who fished one out of Forgotten Springs in the southern reaches of Thanalan. If you want that catfish, you best go and speak with her. Do you think you can have any bait for cloud? Dune fishing? Cloud fishing? Freshwater? See, I got freshwater boil, which is good for freshwater fishing, dune fishing, and cloud fishing. Ocean fishing, freshwater, freshwater. Uh, I have first house, so I can do that. I I, I know it's specifically in Sigoli Desert because I've been there plenty of times. <laughs> If I have a moment? Sure. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be heading to Sigoli Desert. Then let's see Forgotten Springs. You know, what? I'm just better off taking the airship. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, I've got, I've got, I've got a better idea. Whisper Bay Aetherite tickets. Ah! Free of charge. I need to get rid of some of these fishing rods. 
Because they're worse than what I have, which is the the one you can get from from company seals. Uh, let's see. Whew, I almost scared myself with selling that maple crook, but then I re remembered after getting a mini heart attack that I already got bought myself a ra an ash radical. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, oh, I still got some stuff left over. Yeah, <laughs> got some of that tree. <laughs> Foliage in my face. Ah, that brings me to a goblet. Yeah, this way to central, so I can go southern. <laughs> oh yeah, when you when when your buddy uh starts up the stream, feel free to. Let me know. Time for more popcorn. Chilling on a sand dune. <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> Have attended by law. Pixel's not online yet. <coughs> the 
some kernels tickled my throat. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go talk to him real quick. Dune Angler. Kind of tactics, you say? Sure, dunefish, my fair share with desert catfish. Never eat them, though. No, that much. Only ever use them as sandworm bait. Thought of eating desert catfish ha hasn't hadn't occurred to me until the goblin devoured it before my eyes. Still wouldn't catch them myself. Different fish for different folk, as they say. No problem fishing them out, though. Can't even tell you how it's done. Just comes down to the right bait in the right place. Nothing to it, really. Easy as dropping a line with some sand leeches at the first, f at the fishing hole east of Bargot's Strike, near the Amaja campment. Not the same as sea fishing here in the dunes, mind you. Real test of your reel out there. Trick is to hold on when it flails. Only takes one to make a day's haul. Good hunting. <laughs> cat girl being picky about fish. Peach cat. Perhaps. I think she said like east of this encampment. So it's like somewhere in this area? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> What type of bait did she say? Completely forget. It was something. Yeah, sandworm. Do they even have any here? Can't recall it ever being here. Ah, sand leech. Thank you. I'm glad that they do have it here. <laughs> Never have I ever saw myself ever dune fishing. Makes me wonder if that's a thing in IRL too. Dune fishing. Oh, there's the Amalja encampment. Is it over here? I. <laughs> I I I'll just follow you. <laughs> oh, it's here. This gap. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
sand leech. All right, let's see if I can get it. <laughs> Got something. Lion slug. <laughs> it looks kind of silly. Okay. Yeah, you threaten good. Storm Rider. Hmm. Another one. Try moving spots. Yay. Dust fish? It looks strange. I love how I'm just like, ooh, every time I see a new fish. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, that's weird looking. That's interesting. I don't know. I just find little details fascinating. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get a bigger catch. Dun. 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 <laughs> ah, she's a uh, hi. <laughs> Woo, fresh is my, let's go. <laughs> Caravan heal. Is a desert catfish locked to like a specific time or is it? I, I don't know. Just something you gotta try getting in general. Another sand bream. It amazes me how fish can just survive like that in just sand. Fishing lines have to be long in order to reach down the bottom.
No restrictions. Oh, there's the catfish. This took me at, it took me asking a question about it in order to summon it. Manifested, boy. <laughs> you got one. Woo. Actually, I might as well just use up the rest of the sand leeches. While I'm at it. Just so it takes less inventory space. Because <laughs> I'll be selling the fish anyways. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised at how much stamina I have for this game. Usually I don't have this much for a game, but... And again, it's a game I really love playing, so... I guess it makes sense. You tend to be able to play thing, uh, play a favorite game for hours compared to one that you're not so into. There are days for each thing, indeed. Alright. Four more sand leeches to use. <laughs> favorite game. Yeah, it's my it's my latest favorite. And I tell you what. I have no regrets starting this game. I just wish I started it sooner. Like, why did I start this game sooner? It's amazing! <laughs> Dreadbane, you're allowed to love Factorio. That your, if that's your favorite game, more power to you. I think one of my favorites from, as of, like, within, like, the past year or so, is probably Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That one was pretty good. Oh, and Death's Door. I love that one, too. It's a really good one. For us, 9,300 hours?! What?! <laughs> I need to see that with my own eyes. Please tell me you're not joking. Because I would hate if you were. I I need to I need to see the hours on that. <laughs> yes, drop the link. We need to see. Yay, I used up the, I used up the, um, sand leech bait. Is there anything around here I can get with freshwater boil? Boil Lee? I don't know, I'm not an expert at these names. <laughs> uh, just a, fair warning, I, uh, Nightbot's iffy with links. It's Discord under media. Okay, gotcha. I, I gotta see this. <laughs> oh boy. Jimmy's reaction tells me a lot already. But I need to see it for myself. I need to. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Redwing? I've seen some some chronically online friends have like thousands of hours in different things. But I don't think I've ever once seen 9,345.2 
hours in a single game. 387.5 plus days. Uh, 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 wh wow, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Pick your draw off the floor? No! It will, it will, it will get off the floor when it wants to. Actually, I don't want flies in my mouth, so I, I might do it. A level 70 ninja jar. <laughs> it looks really cool, actually. <laughs> Fits you well. Oh no, what will I ever do? My my ninja gear is kind of drab at the moment, but in time, I'll get there. Right now, I'm level 34. I I think I do have a a, nin, a plate glamour plate. I'm got unable to apply glamour plates here. I don't care about doing that. I wanted to show them. Oh. Uh, okay. What well, like? Just like a try on. Looks dashing. <laughs> I wonder how this looks. Ooh. The the bottom middle like what the gloves? They are not bad. On on the right side. What? Huh? What, what, which button? Which button am I looking for? Oh, s s save outfit. And then I just click try on for everything else. <gasps> oh, I just dis. I got to discover a new toy. We. Okay, that looks insanely cool with the hair. <laughs> that looks epic. Nice. And now I know what to look forward to, yeah. <laughs> this is like the most epic looking gear I've seen. <laughs> Knives are also part of the set. Epic. Okay, now. Oh yeah, I gotta deliver that catfish, don't I? Oh, I don't wanna get too distracted. <laughs> I already get very distracted as is. Uh, chocobo. I am going to go take the airship because I do not feel like using a lot of gold. Actually, wait a second. I think using... I think going to Horizon and taking the boat over is even cheaper. It's like 60 to 80 gil, I think. Somewhere in there. You wouldn't know that unless you used it. <laughs> Ah, I got an eyelash in my eye. I don't care about hitting this the sky ceiling right now. Yeah, I know my mouth can't. 
fly any higher. Gun. Itch. I. Ah. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. You like your ability games, <laughs> and I respect it. S seriously. I was going the right way, and then I started going the wrong way. <laughs> I can navigate, I promise. Uh, I remember when those things used to give me a hard time. Actually, where am I even going? Didn't make it a legitimate effort to track them. I mean, fair enough. What an insanely cool looking eagle thingy. Griffin? Hippogriff? I, I don't I don't even know. <laughs> Be unsurprised if hours in Minecraft re reach or exceed factorial. Oh you that you you're terrifying. Tis a yole. Interesting. Um, amount you get from Stormblood. Oh, I see. I don't think. I had a thought in my head, but I can't remember what it was for. Ooh, you look, you look cool. Yeah, I'll just take the airship. I don't feel like going all the way across. I feel like I'm going to go crazy from this music. <laughs> Interesting. It's a little different, just a smidge different from all the cap we've seen. Hmm. Fish bring our fine, tasty, fresh fish cat in Sandy Lands for friendly friend tactics. Yes, yes, I have. Here you go. <laughs> Let's 
Sure. Tactics is Thanksgiving to fish bringer for a lip smacking fish cat. This cat knows strings make for strengthful satchel strands. Tactics trays tongue flaps in wings sass for fancy cooking of fish cat in Bismarck. Ling Sath only fancy cooks at the shop block because of strengthful fish cat odor. Fish bringer make tactics one happy gobby. <laughs> Fishing in the rain. <laughs> Only one spirit bond on this thing. I've used it so much, though. We're gonna be fishing in the rain. Just another- just the fisher I was hoping to see. Uncanny timing, as always. The celebrity you've achieved has resulted in more obscure requests that I know what to do with. Your dune fishing escapades in particular have raised eyebrows. Truly eccentric requests I've seen fit to turn away. But who can say no to Brucare Consortium? I, for one, cannot. But perhaps you'll have something else to say when you speak to Sibel. She's waiting for you outside the guild. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Alright. Uh, ah, Nux Audrin, I take it. The legends said you were rugged, but failed to mention how delectable you are. What? Are you trying to hit on me? <laughs> oh, it's like I'm dealing with Bunet all over again from Fire Emblem and Gage. I have no doubt in my mind. In that our time, together, will be advantageous to us both. To business, then. I want you to bring me rain callers from Gradania's jadeite floor flood. However, there's a catch to this fish. <laughs> Some people be thirsty. Why is it always Limza? Come on, man! Can't you guys, like, stop being horny for, like, two seconds? <sighs> Keep an eye to the skies. No? Go figure. You'll need to... <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even read. As to why we want them, well... <laughs> I'm just gonna skip through the text. I can't. <laughs> okay, where's the location? I think she said rain catcher. Like what? Like rain catcher gully? <sighs> uh, I feel like I'm losing my sanity from an NPC already. Do as a destruction of my recipe train. <laughs> I don't think I'll incur the wrath of anything, but as long as I got sneak on, I sh should be fine. Wait, what sort of bait is needed? You gotta be kidding me.
I can't even remember what bait because I was just losing it. <laughs> Yeah, J I see. Jadeite's Flood. Oh, wait. Raincatcher's the name of the fish. I don't know what the best bait is, though. I actually need help on that. Because I can't remember. And I don't want to waste a trip. Snurble fly. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Thank you. I'll, I'll go ahead and get some of those. Yeah, it'll have to be raining, unfortunately. Where are you, bat cat? You're not even perched up high. Hi, Cadence. How are you doing? Good, that's good. How's the grind? I mean, I'm at it. I'm doing some fishing quests so I can actually unlock some skills. <gasps> Look! Jimmy, there's an Ellison! Right there! Right there! It's like that meme of like, <gasps> Look! And they point back at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, bye. Four seconds. That was an already ran off. Yeah, they did. I still have some tea left. Yes, I do. I should finish it off. Okay, the fact that a Lollafell is named Ibuprofen poisoning is concerning. Like, I know that they're chaos monkeys to begin with, but come on. <laughs> Battle crap supplier and jeweler. Oh, wow, you look insane. Wait a second. Another dusk white. And there's a wild one right here. Two. Huh? Friend request. Uh, 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 thanks. Random person. Oh, it's you. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh. <laughs> I almost got stabbed. I got sh almost got shanked in Limsa. Not Limsa. I mean, Gridani of all places. I need to examine. Oh, wow, that's an insanely cool plate. <laughs> I can tell they're a Dark Knight enthusiast. 
That looks really cool. Oh, Eric, thank you for redeeming the snack oil. Actually, I need to go eat anyways. With the level difference, it wouldn't fell a thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, because I'd be instantly dead. You're at dusk quite like me! You best eat in sippy, I know. You've got cool silvery eyes. How am I doing today? I mean, okay, I, I suppose. The independent tailor, tool supplier. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. Uh, thanks for the mini jump scare. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Pen apothecary. Actually, I do need to restock on high potions until I can... Until I can make higher level ones for myself. Yeah, I know, it was a heal. <laughs> Raycraft supplier. What, like, what, the Pope of Ishgard? <laughs> Independent culinary arm spender. Can I even find any fishing bait in Gradania? You really weren't kidding. <laughs> Yeah, he just stole the old dude's seat. <laughs> I mean, this is essentially the best I've got right now. But I think I do have, like... Can I access them? Cool, I'm working on that one for, like, an archer slash bard. There's, there's the red mage version, like. Did the stretch and fish from five plus hours ago get done? Yes, yes, I did them. I did those ones. This one's like the all purpose one that I can do like back and forth between red mage and black mage. I'm still working on my ninja. <laughs> Trying to find piece to fit the top. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, this is Astro Astrologian one. Pretty simple, really. And I've got the fancy suit. When I The second I found it, I grabbed it. <laughs> but that's all I have for now, really. I don't have anything too crazy. Uh, everything looks so beautiful. <laughs> you really have good taste. Ah, uh, my inner artist feels so happy. Uh. You know the snurble flies you mentioned? Is there a trader in Gridania that can sell those? Like, here? Because... Tried looking. 
it's just nothing but like alchemist stuff, bones, leather worker stuff, weaver, carpenter, blacksmith, mining stuff, culinarian. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was a little deceptive because it says tool supplier. Sometimes it can be a bit literal. When you when it says tool supplier, you think tools like I don't know hammers and stuff. Snurble <laughs> fly. No, no snurble fly. Stem borers, the other one too. Will I need a honey worms for the next one, or is that just like something they gave me? They they do have uh, they don't have snurble flies, but they do have stem borers, so it's not a complete loss. I just wonder when I'm going to use this honey worm, because if not, I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, I don't know, I, I'll deal with the consequences later. <laughs> oh, it's only obtainable via, obtainable via crafting, I see. Uh, I'm trying to think, what, what crafter would need it? Uh, Alchemist, maybe? Goldsmither, uh, I see. Oh, good thing I'm leveling it. <laughs> I think it's my second highest, uh, you know, like crafter class I have. My first one that got maxed out was Fisher for obvious reasons. <laughs> Yum. Shiny. 25 enough? I don't know how hard they're gonna be, but... I, I like to be overprepared on, than underprepared. <gasps> also, I should put the brakes on now so i can get myself something since eric has been kindly waiting <laughs> oh you got more work to do on puzzle deck it ain't, uh jimmy that's our that's our puzzle bot that we have in the in this in this channel it, it uh it, you can interact with it and have puzzles oh hey, we have two that you can play around with and it's hangman and and like a mini version of wordle <laughs> I can tell you like red and black. 
uh, Discord rules. Uh, I'll I'll deal with that. <laughs> oh yeah, do we have do we have any raid targets? Stem bores. Got those. Let's see, you got 181 tombstones. That's from the Crystal Tower Raid series. I see. <laughs> this is like the only paid thing I ever gotten. It, it yeah, that like Valentine's um mail set that you could get. I I got the email about it. No. And and <laughs> when I saw it, I just couldn't resist. I'm like, yes, yes, I want this. Yes. Okay, game plan. I'm, I'm gonna get food right after stream. So you can go ahead and, and mark that, Eric. I'll also try to remember to take care of that Discord thing. And, uh, oh, you already did? Okay. My, my brain's like starting to move at snail pace. You have another 61k points. Huh. Yeah, because you're almost always here. <laughs> you know, I need to crunch this down. Raid out, food. Maybe get rid of, get, get ready for bed. I do also need to like turn in some of those tombstones. So I can adjust my list a little bit. <sighs> Forget how much of these things are individually cost, like these MGP Platinum cards. You're over 200k in that channel? Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. I, I know you like lurking. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna log out temporarily. Well, exit temporarily. Just so I can get stream stuff sorted out and, um... 30 per one, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna log back in after, but I need to, I need to get myself situated for the evening, or night. <laughs> that needs to happen first. What do you mean not in the traditional sense, huh? Okay. Twitch. You guys got any raid targets? Feel free to let me know. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I have another stream on Saturday. At 12 p.m. <laughs> That's okay, Jimmy. I appreciate you being here. Uh, let's... <laughs> oh, I see you joined the Discord. Welcome. Okay. 
Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. You guys want to head over to Pirate Software, the, the game developer? Because... <laughs> He's also playing some Pal World. Yeah, I'll go ahead and see what he's up to. Oh, wait, is this Twitch Rivals? I think it, yeah, it's Twitch Rivals. Guys, we could watch that. How World Showdown. If you guys are in the mood for anything, uh, like a particular game or a person, just, you know, feel free to speak up. I, is this your decision? Yeah, fair enough. But I'm always open to suggestions because some of the time, like, majority of the time, I don't even know, uh, <laughs> I don't even know who I should raid. That's why I always, you know, I always ask, like, hey, feel free to give me some suggestions. What even is that word? Neoliberalisms. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, you know what? Another per person, like another VTuber I'm in community with is running a donathon, so I think I'll send you guys over there. Apparently it's a describable dictionary. <laughs> you don't question it, fair enough. Let's go say hi to Rinako again. I think it'll be your first time, Jimmy. But I do have some raid messages in place in case you want to use them. Uh, first one's the subscriber one, and the second one is the non-subscriber one. So I'll see you guys there. Thank you for joining me. 